Bada bing, bada boom. We are here. Hello. What's up, everybody? Oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. I got a little. I thought, thought my. I thought the lighting wasn't right. I thought the lighting wasn't right. Uh, see, you got. You see, this is this is what sucks about me doing it like kind of late. You you still got natural yeah. light, and I'm dealing with like the sun going down over here. You know, you glowing over there. You know. And stuff. It's almost. You know, it's only gonna be like four. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. And what, when does when does the sun go down over there right now? Maybe, About, maybe six or seven now, right? Oh, really? It's like six or seven? Damn. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're maybe. we're right now we're like at seven fifteen over here, like seven thirty. Like okay. Seven thirty ish. We still got like yeah. a glimmer of light out there. Um, Daylight savings. Got yeah. it. Or not really. No longer. No longer. Thank goodness. Such a weird concept. I know. <laughs> I say we're geniuses, but we can't get past you know daylight savings. That really be fucking me up. I, I, like, I don't know about you, but I mean, even as me, like an early morning bloomer, like early bloomer and all mm-hmm. that stuff, I hate daylight savings. It still fucks me up. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I hate it, it in the beginning. It's a and tough then week. When I lose. Yeah. And then you lose an hour of sleep when it's mm-hmm. done. And you're like. That November, oh, that November, though, when uh when the clock, when you get that extra hour. Let me yeah. listen. We are, bro. I hope by then we're out of COVID. Not out of COVID. We're not going to be out of COVID. It's still going to be like. Of in course. The, but I wonder what it's going to look like. Because that's the best part. That's one of the best party days of the year, uh, alongside True. the day before Thanksgiving, which is so fucking weird. Like that. That's like. Yeah. But it's that's like it, a party day. It's because most people are off the next day. That's why. So it's just like, yo, mm. fuck it. You know, we got we got all night. Um, but D Griffs, what's up, Dirty Dan? What is good, homie? How are you, um, Dirty Dan? Yeah, we we were actually just talking about you, Dan, because uh, <laughs> I went. So Dan don't know this because when I came back from uh, going to GameStop, he had already he had already uh, raided somebody. Um, mm-hmm. But yo, Dan, my GameStop wasn't open, homie. I I couldn't I couldn't get that uh, Monster Hunter that Monster Hunter rise. And then I took a bike ride, and I went to Target. And guess what they didn't have? Monster Hunter rise. Monster Hunter. Fucking mm-hmm. fucking bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit. They're trying to keep me. They're trying to keep me from this. And you know, and I I'm almost about to download the digital. But me and me and Alyssa were just talking about it. It ain't right. It ain't right. Nah. It ain't right. My nah. my other games over there, they wouldn't like that. They wouldn't appreciate nah. that. My shelf, my shelf needs love, and it needs another. Who game. needs two digital copies of the same game? Because I'm pretty sure you're gonna play it on PC next year. That too, <laughs> that too, 100. <laughs> percent Yo, no. Nah, if there's no cross like progress, like if I can't bring mm-hmm. over my save, then nah. 
There's there's no oh. way I'm gonna replay all of that shit because this Monster Hunter is a grind. I don't I can't imagine me doing mm-hmm. that grind again from beginning. But if I can bring over my like stuff and especially if I can crossplay, um, definitely definitely yeah. gonna cop on PC. Um, but yo guys, what's up, Alyssa? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. It's been a it's been an alright day. I'm free. Yeah. <laughs> Most people don't know this. And I'm actually okay talking about it because like it is what it is. You gotta take life's punches to the chin. But uh, I got laid off last week, so um, today was the last day at work. I sent a goodbye email to my coworkers, Luigi. Shout out to Luigi who was just yeah, on. Shout, shout out, out to Bembona. Yo, shout yes. out to let me, let me throw some shout outs in there. Let me throw some shout outs in there. Shout out to Uptown's finest, uh, the one and only. Um, yeah. And shout out to Bembona. Oh my goodness, uh, who is who is in town from Puerto Rico? Uh, hey. For I don't know how, I don't know how long, but I I know she's here long enough to hang out with us, and I appreciate that. Uh, she's gonna be here with us tomorrow. She's gonna be here with us tomorrow. She's closing out the event tomorrow. Um, hey. But uh, yeah, they, they they were streaming earlier, looking like looking like Pixar Pixar characters. I love it. I love <laughs> yeah. it. Um, but like like uh, Luigi had mentioned, we got one hundred twenty dollars uh, donated while he was on. That was actually from my coworkers because I pressed them in that <laughs> goodbye email. I was like, "Look, listen, I, I appreciate the well wishes, and you know all that. You know, like, yo, hit you know, hit me up if you need a reference and all that stuff. That that shit is all cute and stuff. But put your money where your mouth is. Here's the link to this donation to this uh to this fundraiser. Throw some throw something at that. And my homie Mark, shout out to my cowork from my old coworker Mark. He donated like a hundred beans. I, I appreciate him. He's the man. Um, awesome. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, so so uh, yeah, that's where we are right now. I don't know. I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm over it. Like it, the the yeah. night I found out, I was a little upset. But by the next day, it was like, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, life. Yeah, life, life. Um, but yeah, all right. Enough about me. Enough about me. Enough about me. Um, <laughs> let's let's get into the episode. Um, yeah, I'm actually excited. Uh, this is you know. Alyssa and I are always talking about how we're we have long ass episodes, but this is gonna be this is gonna be a pretty lengthy episode. We actually have a lot to talk about. Like, yeah, a lot. Um, all right, let me let me get into this intro. So, so then, so then you you can kick things off actually. Um, but this is the safe point. Ba-da-da-da-da-ba-dow. Thank you yeah. for being here with us, everybody. We appreciate yes, you. Yes, thank you. If you're here you. with us live, I appreciate you. If you're listening on podcast services around the world. I appreciate you too. Um, and if you if you're watching us live, by the way, and if you always watch us live, and you listen to podcasts on like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, wherever, go and put that review. Send that review. We five stars right now on Apple Podcasts, and I'm like, I like it. I, I fuck with that. Amazing. Yeah, send, send us that. Send us that love. Send us that love. Send us that yes, love. Yes. Yes. Um, all right. First thing on the agenda. Now I'm gonna throw you to Xbox. But first thing on the agenda, like Luigi mentioned, we having an event tomorrow. Uh, uh, we have an our Women's History Month event. Um, God, goodness, is going to be an incredible day. I'm actually really, really excited. We're starting that bad boy off with an Apex tournament. Um, I'm commentating alongside the lovely, the talented, the the strong willed. I mean, I mean, I mean, her back, her spine's got to be like you know just just coming apart, you know. But the two right. the two time champ, <laughs> effing Jess. Whew, man, I'm. I'm I'm honored to be graced by her presence, and right. uh, and look, that that's how we starting things off. And and we got a slew of team. We got seven teams competing for one hundred fifty dollars, and this is gonna be a great time. That 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 three hours, that two and a half hours is gonna be awesome. Uh, fo- follow uh, after that, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have DJs. After that, we got Alyssa hosting uh, another Safe Point episode tomorrow. Yeah, um, but it's a special conversation. She's gonna be interviewing. Uh, Millie Coates, who's a close friend of the of the uh, of the channel, y'all already know. She was actually our very first uh, yeah. Save Point guest, which is super, super, super duper awesome. Um, yeah. So really, it look how it comes together. I love it. Right. Um, literally a year later too. Yeah, like literally almost a year later to the T. Um, after that, we got uh, we got female streamers. We got uh, we got Jesse Quill. We got Red Infamy. We got. Uh, Oh my God, the names are slipping from my mind. But we, it's just women all day. All women. Being talented. The only male you'll being see. Being amazing. Is yeah, I think, yeah, I think the only guy you're going to see on camera, I mean, or not even on camera, because maybe the guys will, you know, pop in yeah. and stuff like that here and there. But uh, yeah, I'm the actually the only guy who's like on the lineup or everything. Everything else is just women. Um, and I love yeah. it. Um, talented, amazing. amazing, 
powerful women. Um, and like Luigi said, look, man, celebrate women all around the world. Stop, 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 stop catcalling them. That shit ain't cute. That shit ain't cool. That shit don't get you nowhere. Um, no. Treat them with respect. It's weird. And yeah, crazy. it's super, super <laughs> weird. And I promise you, she's only responded back to you because she's scared. And she like, yes. you know, she's just trying she to want to her to get her or anything like that. Yeah, because that men, just because me men are soft because men are mm-hmm. soft and they can't take fucking no for an answer. Yeah, yeah it's really uh, it's creepy. Yeah. But. but anyways, tune in tomorrow. Oops. It's going to be a great day. A great, great day. Um, and again, shout out to Bimbona because she's going to close that whole day out. Like, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. I'm not ready. Amazing. So I know y'all not ready. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um. But I think with that, I think with that we can kick off the episode. How about, how about you? You 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 go, Alyssa. I've, I've been talking. Yeah, Thanks. sure. I mean, you're the Xbox guy here, oh, but come on. our first topic is Xbox. You know, and Microsoft just all together coming in with Doing like the, the greatest. Yes, yeah, just like the greatest news week after week ever since that Sony um, like presentation. It so, turned you into a fan. Turn you into a fan. Mm, mm. I don't know about a fan, but like as like someone who's interested in going the pc route i'm like okay like this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of great i like it okay. um so this week they finalized the end of xbox live gold and they also changed the network from uh or xbox live to xbox network and on top of that there's this discussion of whether or not they're acquiring discord of all things so um i don't it's just a lot. They just acquired uh, Bethesda fully and announced new games, a new slew of games. I just, I'm at a loss for words, like genuinely. I think for Discord, this is amazing. It could mm-hmm. literally mean upgrades for mm-hmm. the application and just the whole software because we all have issues with Discord and being on Discord, it has its ups and downs, especially as a network. Um, And then I don't know anything about Xbox Live because I obviously am not an Xbox player, but I think it's cool that they want to make it truly a whole bigger thing outside of gaming Mm -hmm. or just like focusing on consoles, really. It's just like a hub for gaming itself. So I think that Microsoft knows what they're doing. I don't I don't know. At one point I was like, what the fuck is going on? But now I'm just like, okay. Yeah, it's starting. Okay. It's, it's starting to make sense. Like the pictures starting to come yeah. together. The puzzle pieces, like you start building the puzzle, and you're just like, "How's this gonna actually come together?" Right. And then you start to get halfway, and you're like, "Oh wow, this puzzle is starting to look really good." I feel like that's where we're at right now with Xbox. I agree. Um, I don't know the difference between Xbox Live Gold though and the regular Xbox Live, so I just uh, know that they had raised the prices, and then yeah. They, so uh, never mind. Xbox Live Gold is the actual. Uh, online service that lets you play online mm-hmm. and uh, gives you games with gold. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's put, that's what Xbox Live is. Yeah. Uh, Xbox, so it, I mean, early, early days, I don't even know if I haven't heard this in so many years, but Xbox Live Silver is the, mm-hmm. is like the free tier and is like the regular tier of Xbox Live. And I don't even, to be honest with you, I don't even know why they even named it a service. I don't even know what the difference of having of not having Xbox Live Silver and then like having nothing, I feel like Xbox Live Silver is nothing, and then Xbox Live Gold is a service. But right. to your point about Xbox Live, uh, Xbox Live becoming Xbox Network, I do think that that is their leaning in and saying, "All right, Xbox Live, Xbox Live is what like what it is is becoming bigger than that." Like I mean, yeah. even when the like when when they raised the price, right? When they announced that they were gonna make it like one hundred and twenty dollars for the year or something like that, mm-hmm. um, a lot of people were saying like, you know, at this point, like, why why does Xbox Live even exist? You know, like why, you know, some people are like, all right, why are we even paying sixty dollars at this point? Like it it made I feel like it made a lot of sense twenty years ago when like internet mm-hmm. infrastructure wasn't what it is today and and things of that nature to be paying for like internet like. And PC players were like, like PC players were, were boasting at that time, like, oh, we don't we don't pay for to play online. Like I don't play I don't pay to play online. My online is free. Right. Um, even even X. Well, no, because I guess I play for Xbox Game Pass, and that has Xbox Live mm-hmm. Gold included. So people are like, why don't you just package it? You know, why why is it this? Why is Game Pass over here and Xbox Live is over here, and you can have Xbox Live, but you can, you can get Game Pass and it has Xbox Live included in it, and it's just this weird concept. And so I don't. I wonder if this was always their plan, or if 
the conversations that were being had when they raised that price made them kind of just think about it and say to themselves, oh, damn, you know what? People are right. And I guess maybe we should give people what they want, which is a combination of services. Um, right. Yeah, it, it, it's really interesting. Um, and then the Discord thing. I'm. Hmm. I, all right, look, it, it's a big move and I'm hyped for Xbox Cute. to do that. But it's not what I wanted to happen with Discord. Um, okay. Because I have fears now of what that means. Like for me, as we were entering this cross-play world, Discord looked like it could become the app that would live on all the systems. It already lives on PC. And this would be our hub as gamers to have our communities, have our chats, and not have to deal with in-game chats that are crap and all this other right. stuff. Um, but it seems like that might not happen because if Xbox buys, if they really do buy Discord, are they putting Discord on PlayStation? I don't know. Is Discord on PlayStation? Though? No, Discord's not on anything. Discord's only on PC. Yeah, it's just on yeah Mac and PC. Yeah, and, and so whatever and yeah, on your phone. Yeah, yeah, and so phone. like people, and, and I think it's become more of a conversation as crossplay has become more of a thing. And so right. people are like, oh, I need another place to talk to people, especially as like if you're a PlayStation player and you got Xbox mm -hmm. friends, then there's nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm lucky right. that most of my friends uh, who I play like online games with, at least, are playing on Xbox and my PC has an Xbox app and I can talk yeah. to them through the Xbox app. But if my friends were playing on PlayStation, I'd have to deal with in-game chats for whatever game that is because there's there's oh, no right. real way to chat. Uh and that's not great. That's not a great option. So I always hoped that Discord would become, you know, just become that bridge between consoles so that people could play together, especially as we're moving into right. crossplay. But if, if if Microsoft buys them for 10 bills, I don't know. Like, do they put Discord on PlayStation? I don't know. I don't know. Because there's no money in doing that either. You know what I mean? Like, they're not they're not making money off. Right. I, I, I guess you do because well, yeah, it's not. I mean, people it's not will be on it and stuff, a, but... But it's not a paid service. Yeah, it's so not it's a paid not service, like... so that's what I'm saying. Well, you can pay. There's Nitro, I guess. Oh, yeah, um, true, true. But, but you don't have to pay, you know? Um, it's yeah. interesting. I also think of, like, the bigger standpoint, because it's just, like, a lot of big, even big Twitch streamers use uh, Discord as, like, a community for their people. Not necessarily for them to interact, for their people to interact. Um, I was just thinking on the side of, like, how much better the, the application would work and, like, we won't experience maybe as much flaws in it but yeah i guess on a larger scale you're right like how will this impact you know not just xbox and pc players but also nintendo switch players and sony players playstation players it's definitely a thing where i don't know they would they i don't know i don't know how they're gonna make money yeah. off of it or if it's like ultimately worth the investment but was evo worth the investment so for PlayStation? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, they got a huge. Um, like, let me talk about that. They got a huge community on the on yeah, PlayStation, um, and it is the it's biggest. Really it is the biggest fighting game tournament. But uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, like 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 Fart Ripple said. Like, would it be fully implemented into the Xbox app or left alone or left as a standalone app? And I that's think a good question. I think both options are good from Xbox's point of view. You know, Xbox right. is like, look, we can take Discord and take what that is and build it into the xbox app and now we have communities because like playstation just killed communities they just killed off communities from uh like their services which was a yeah. bull which, when they added it i felt like it was a bullshit thing anyways i was like no yeah, one's gonna just use this to say that they did it yeah, yeah no, no one's gonna use this uh well i feel like it's argued like it's a not that people who play on playstation don't play together i just feel like xbox has more of like a community aspect versus uh playstation, PlayStation because yeah. they have a lot of single player games that's how they built um, the brand yeah with their ips so i think it's just a different perspective atmosphere yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I feel but that. we could also argue that like with the like we're going to talk about sony and after we talk about xbox but with the acquisition of crunchyroll you know oh is that going to be on xbox like their apps as well or pc just because it's a part of sony so i don't know yeah but it definitely it could be a standalone app or it could just be developed into um, an Xbox app where you're kind of out of just luck. An, it's just an ultimate, app. like it's the ultimate mm -hmm. Xbox app. Don't get me wrong. The Xbox yeah. app is garbage. 
I fucking hate the <laughs> Xbox app. My God. Or at least on like on my phone and on right. the PC, sometimes it gives me issues. On the Xbox itself, I've never really had issues getting into party chats and stuff. But that's because it's in the it's built in and it's not a separate app. Um, mm. But I also do think there is a benefit to keeping it as a standalone app. And that just means like you are now the owner of this platform oh, yeah. that's going to be used across all consoles. Um, right. And there's a huge benefit in that, I think. Because uh, again, Nitro, you can make money off that. And, you know, I don't know. I, that's what I'm hoping happens. I'm hoping that they just leave it alone. They just buy it and they're like, mm-hmm. you know, we're just going to make Discord better. And we're going to yeah. put it and we're going to put it on everything. Uh, we're going to put it on Xbox first. And then they're going to figure out the PlayStation shit later, whenever PlayStation, right. you know, like however that works out. Um, and then if, if Nintendo wants to play, nice, you know. But it's not even like yeah. there's too many games that are on the Switch. Like, don't get me wrong, there are crossplay games. Required. There's Fortnite, there's there's Apex. there's Airpeg, Apex now, there's Warframe on there. But how I'm many? Standard. How often have you played crossplay with, like, I, I for me, who plays on PC, I never play crossplay with anybody who's on Switch. Um, maybe if you're on a right. console, you'll play with somebody who's on. So I feel like that's more common, but yeah, we'll switch, you know, will Nintendo even care? I mean, they, they don't even have a good voice app they themselves. Care. They don't care. They don't give they a don't, damn. They don't care. They don't, um, you know. they don't care. Yeah. And also Kelvin said, and I, and I saw people talking about this too. If they buy them and they do make them mm-hmm. like if they do transition that into becoming the new Xbox app, then another app has to resurface. Like of somebody course. has to make another app. Because that's just not going to work out. Like, like again, no. there needs to be a cross-play solution, which is why I think this is such stunning news because I feel like I'm not the only one on that boat that felt like Discord was going to be that answer to us being able to play on, play with PC, uh, play PC players, P- PlayStation players, and Xbox players, and all be in the same app. I mean, yeah, talking, all be in the same community. Uh, and even people like I mean I get on Discord sometimes with my friends and we stream movies and watch mm-hmm. movies and TV shows together. I mean that's what you know we're gonna be doing with like new anime stuff as well. It's just yeah. or the anime shows you guys do it with Attack on Titan right mm-hmm. now. And it's like, are there gonna be restrictions to that because yeah. it's copyright? And now, you know, and now it's owned by a big it. conglomerate yeah. and shit. Exactly, which is unfortunately Sony. Um, <laughs> uh, and it's just like a tit for tat. Um, yeah. And I agree with uh, JL Doom when they when they say like oh um, they don't see Microsoft putting anything on PlayStation and like how they're treating Bethesda uh, new IP for Bethesda it's probably just going to be exclusive to Microsoft that literally could be the result which yeah. like sucks for PlayStation players um, AKA me but uh, they're gonna have to figure out something because I play with PC players a lot yeah. No, I but, don't play it with a lot of Xbox, but definitely PC. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Only time going to tell. Yeah. I mean, let's see if they even buy them. Let's see if that's even, you know, if that that's actually works true. out. Yeah. I think it's true. Bloomberg, I think it was Bloomberg that reported it. I was like, no, nah, oh, Bloomberg's not going to, Bloomberg's not, not going to just sit a, like, like <laughs> talk about some shit like that if they didn't have like good sources. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why the Nintendo, I mean, we're going to get to that, right? Yeah. We're going to mm-hmm. get to that. But that, that news also came from Bloomberg. And that's why I was like mm-hmm. also super disappointed because that means it's probably likely true. Religion. Um, yeah. But yeah, you got anything else to say on this? I, I'm, um, I'm no, happy. shout out to Xbox. I'm happy to see them make moves. Shining. Shining. Yes. You know? And in, in ways that we didn't expect. Like, mm-hmm. I, I still think that they need games, but I'm happy to see the moves that they're making and how they're trying to ultimately change the gaming industry on a whole. It's like really fun to watch from yeah. their perspective, you know. They're building a really strong foundation, I yes. think, which is which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. And doing now, things that... just put games on top of it. Yes, please, yeah. for the sake of <laughs> your you know, fans, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. give them games. Yeah, I tell people, we're gamers. We ain't consolers. We yeah. gamers. Right? You, exactly. you love Xbox because of Halo. You love mm-hmm. PlayStation because of Metal Gear Solid and and God of War and and all Crash that. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot back when it was exclusive, but yeah, you know. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, but going into Sony actually, um, Sony closing down shop, and the up and an update on the uh, the Crunchyroll acquisition. I actually did not think that that was going to be like an issue like that, which is me either. Which is kind of interesting, but um, we'll touch on the sh- closing down shop. So if you didn't hear, uh, PlayStation, this is big. For me, at least. PlayStation no, yeah, is closing down shop for the PS3, PSP, and PS Vita. 
Um, they're no longer supporting those stores starting July 2nd for the PS3 and PSP and August 27th for the PS Vita. And yeah, this is something that we're always talking about on the, uh, the podcast about digital ownership of games versus physical ownership and just what that means and what that looks like. And when I saw this news, I mean, you already know what my reaction was, but I didn't even talk to me. I saw the news and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, people I are surprised. You. People are surprised. There's nothing to be surprised about here. Um, yeah. Just... I can understand why people are surprised when it comes to the PS Vita. Yeah, for the PS Vita, yeah, that's a little surprising. Um, yeah. I know it didn't sell too well, and I know it wasn't the most popular thing. Like, not even but half as popular as the PSP. It. Yeah, but people still use it, and I think that's why they gave them another month and a half to, like, yeah. download the games. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that sucks for PS Vita owners. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. But I'm not going to say too much, but this is why I buy physical games. I don't buy digital games. Yeah. Because you don't own those games. You own a license to play those games. And that license can be revoked at any point in time. And PlayStation right. decided that they done supporting that store and you know, paying for those servers. They're not profitable anymore. People aren't playing those games, whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and now a lot of people... And don't get me wrong. I know the PS5 is out now. And a lot of people are probably like, PS3 store, whatever. But if I told you today that all of the games you bought on PS5... One day, you're not going to have them anymore. You're not going to be able to download them no more. You're not going to have access to them anymore. And then you got to put them on a hard drive that you hope one day never fails. And then you can play them anytime you want. I don't know. That just doesn't sit well. You know, a lot of people would be like, oh, nah, that's fucked up. You know, I just bought this game. It cost me $60. And so looking back at the PS3, I just, I think that sucks. I just think that sucks. Yeah, I agree with you. Um... Especially because, like, the difference in value of games and when the PS3 was out versus the PS5. Mm-hmm. Like, we may not be looking at it as, like, oh, I spent $60 on this game. But um, the va- the truth is, like, you still spent at least 40 to $50 on a game yeah. at a time. And that's still money that, like, you won't be getting back even if you tried to sell it to GameStop. Um, but, yeah, I-, I mean, I feel like we all saw this coming. It happens with every system. Um mm. It happened with the Nintendo DS as of recently, and or the 3DS, and it yeah. happened with the Wii U. As happened well. with the Wii and the so, Wii U, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's a, it was about to ha- it was bound to happen. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner for the PS3, um, or the PSP. I think that's huge that the PSP has lasted this long with an eShop as long as well as the PS Vita. Um, even though I'm not surprised because the PS Vita is very popular. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the reality with digital gaming. Unfortunately, stores can close. You, Yeah, you lose a license. It's, that's the truth. It's just that you're going to lose the license. And I have a digital PS5, so I know the pain. <laughs> but I also <laughs> I also buy my favorite um, franchises, like the games, so that like I don't feel as if I'm missing out or if I wanted to replay it, I can. And then that's another thing. It's Sony, so there's no guarantee of backwards compatibility, obviously. So you're better off just sometimes getting that physical copy so that you can at least play it on the original system. Because yeah. um, chances are you probably won't be able to play it on the new system anyways. But if you get an Xbox, you will be able to. <laughs> yeah, but shout out to Xbox because right. Xbox cares about backwards compatibility and you can play yeah. a ton of games. It's um, important ton of games back to even the original xbox which is yeah. really really impressive um and i mean on my end i'm just like i wonder how long they can keep that up for and i wonder how like i wonder what the numbers are i know a lot of people are like yo i want backwards compatibility but i wonder how like what the percentages of people playing backwards compatible games mm-hmm. and i'm not talking last year or even two years no. before that because like we're talking like because like got a war got a war and spider-man 2018 that those came out three years ago and I would still, right. I wouldn't say that's backwards compatibility. Like, those are great games, and you could even still play those today and really enjoy them. I feel like backwards compat is PS3 or Xbox 360 or uh, or even or anything older than that. Um, and it's just how how often are you going that far back to play a game? And I, that's PlayStation's perspective. And right. they, I mean, they've got the numbers. You know, like they see who's playing, they see who's buying stuff and downloading stuff. And so mm-hmm. if you don't see the usage there, what's the point in putting money there? And yo, this is just a reminder mm-hmm. that this is also a business. And as much as we love video games, it's about the fuck, it's about the money at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, shout out to Xbox for maintaining 
uh, backwards compatibility yeah. because apparently PlayStation and Nintendo, they don't give a damn. Um, but well, yo. Well, Nintendo did it once, what? I want to say, with the backwards compatibility, but I think it was the 3DS because you could fit the cartridge inside of the 3DS from the DS, but like you couldn't, it wasn't. Oh, reversed, yeah. And like iterations basically. of the Game Boy, too. I think once mm -hmm. they got to Game Boy Advance, like almost oh, yeah. like the SP and, uh, and like the. Oh, advance yeah all of those use like this yeah a lot of those use the same cartridges so like it didn't matter yeah, if you got the next one your cartridges game. worked sure. a little thinner yeah a little thinner yeah um um yeah like you can even still pop the big ones into them too yeah course. yeah because i remember yeah. i remember them sticking out and stuff to, to, uh, yeah. towards the top but uh they just made them shorter based on the like the sp and the advanced because they were like stubbier and smaller yeah they, they figured out how to ad advancement they figured out how to put yeah. more data in smaller space which is awesome yeah um i mean look at and i think you look could what have we got now wii. with the switch you know what i mean yeah <laughs> i think you could have played wii games on the wii u anyways and vice versa yeah because um, it's just a disc mm -hmm. but yeah as for the switch yeah. it's brand new now so it's yeah. like smaller cartridge um yeah and no, and, and you can't go back to your like Wii U shop or something like that, or your oh, no. or your Wii shop. So, so yeah, you ever did that? Yeah, it, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, for um, sure. It's it's the it's it's the business. I, but I also understand why people buy digital games because I myself go through struggles of like like right like when I first got my PlayStation Five and I was like, all right, let me download all these games and like you know install all these games rather. Let me install all these games. I'm installing the game and I'm like, all right, back. Let me install another one. I can't even play the one I already installed. Because I've got another disc in there installing this new game. And none of my game not none of my games, some of my games are digital, but if I wanted to play the game that's a physical game, I can't install something and play it at the same mm -hmm. time. Um, so that there's struggles with physical yeah, you don't have that trouble. Like digital game, you know, pick up, just go. Especially on the Switch. The only reason why I was thinking about getting Monster Hunter Digital is because like I heard somebody say it and when I thought about it, I was like, damn, this is the one console that I may be okay buying digital games with. Just because yeah, I take it with yeah. me on the go, and like maybe you don't have that cartridge with you or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. ra rather than being home, your PlayStation's always home, so it's always yeah. with all of your games. Like I don't take all of my Switch games with me in my case. It's just in case I lose that case. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't want to lose all my shit games. Yeah, yeah, I'm shit out of luck. I don't want to lose <laughs> all my games and, and my Switch. But uh, yeah, this benefits to digital gaming. I totally understand why people do it. Um, yeah, it is what it is. You know. Yeah, I will say they gonna get me again because I, <laughs> I, I haven't bought. I, I want to play Kingdom Hearts and I and I can't mm -hmm. <laughs> on my PS Five, so I think I'm gonna get their latest. I'm still gonna buy the physical copy because I'm crazy and I have like every Kingdom Hearts game they've ever released except for Chain of Memories and the first one on the PlayStation Two, but I'm working on it Ooh, and okay. I'm gonna get that that last one they released where it's just like all the games in one, like, maybe on my PS Five. Is that the, the two? No, it's not two point five mix or something like that. Mm -mm. It's like they have like this whole collection of all. I think it includes three, but oh, it even includes three. Collection. That's interesting. I think so. Okay, I think so. Yeah, jail dude, um, yo, yeah, bro, you can't. I I carry the three games that I know I'm gonna play because I'm not gonna oh, play all because my case has twelve like slots. I'm not playing mm -hmm. twelve games and that's carry ridiculous. three. Of, I'm winning. I'm willing to lose three games and my switch. Three games and the game that's in my switch. And my Switch. I'm willing to lose that, but yeah, nothing more. Before, yeah, besides all of them. That happened to my sister when she was little. Um, she had her DS and she left it someplace. We went back to go get it and it was complete. The DS, the games, everything inside was gone. Oh, that's That's a commodity so back in the day. Yeah. Physical copies are great, seem to last longer than the digital stores. And depending on their title and how much time has passed, their resale value gets insane. That's very true. Yeah. I will say that it depends on the game. Yeah. It really does. I'm also I'm also the kind of friend that that lends games. So like mm, you know like too. if you got a game you want to play and I have it and I'm not playing it no more. Like uh, I got a good friend Capo. Uh, know him from like college days. Um, he offered to lend me his uh, Persona Five Royale. Wow. Uh, because he beat it already and he's just like, look, man, yeah, like, you know, like the only okay. reason I didn't take it is because it's like a hundred hour game. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna have this shit forever if you lend it to me. Um, yeah. But like, you know, like that's the other benefit of digital games, which like I don't right. we don't do as much as we used to when we were kids. I feel like, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like that was more of a thing back in the day. But um, yeah, a hundred hour game turned into like a 40 hour game for a kid. 
because you're just going to be on it all day playing anyways especially yeah. if you have strict parents yeah but damn I silent hill i wish yeah yeah i wish they would just like remaster silent hill all of them and then put them on the playstation um, store because i'd buy that in a heartbeat i bet you would i'm good on that silent hill i know you're it's a scared. game that ruined it for me <laughs> ruined it for me maybe maybe that's what i have to do to get over it maybe i have to go to the place where it all started Maybe I gotta go to where it all began. My fear. Yeah, you probably will laugh at the. You'll probably laugh at it now because it's not as no. scary as you thought it was. I don't know. I don't know. The graphics are not like today. Know. Like it's not like you're playing the. Last those of us. nurses. Those nurses. I yeah, don't know. That was that shit freaked Pyramid me head? out. Pyramid head. That shit freaked me out. Um, like in in uh, if we if we want to talk about physical copies that are worth a lot of money, the See, gold like the gold copy of Zelda Ocarina of Time is worth How much is that? Thou thousands I, I think I saw it. let me I'll look it up but you jump into the Crunchyroll thing I'm gonna look that up because I just know it's worth a right. ridiculous amount of money I and I was like play. wow yeah I'm saying like if they really do guys if they really do like do a remaster I and they put like PT on there just 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 to like you know make Silent Hill fans happy I would literally Oh. Die. Also, Kelvin, three hundred dollars for a Fire Emblem. That's crazy. Yeah. So somebody has an a sealed Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Collector's Edition, which is the gold one. Yeah. They have it up on eBay for ten thousand dollars. I don't even have ten thousand dollars. I don't have ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I imagine even if I did. Oh gosh, that's so that's so much money. If I did, I don't know that I would buy it. But um, but open, my sister open was it like, looks like it's like three hundred. Open it looks like it's like around three hundred. Which well, I mean, yeah, whew. which is it's still a lot of money yeah, for a is. game. It is. It is indeed. Oof. It is indeed. But yeah, I guess we can now oh. transition into this Sorry, no. crunchy roll acquisition. So as many of us know, and if you don't know, Sony is trying to acquire Crunchy Roll, which is a huge anime app. Um, obviously, and they're trying to merge it into Funimation, which Sony also owns, but there seems to be some sort of um, not, I don't want to say issue, but like maybe there's like some miscommunication, I mm -hmm. guess. So the way that it looks like is that the Japanese studios don't want Sony to limit where they can distribute their content through the US, basically. They still want to have it, it, it kind of sounds like they still want to like be like, I want to be on Netflix or I want to be on HBO on Max Hulu and I still want to do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I still want to have these avenues, but be under a company and kind of like be in a union sort of, um, so that like they're getting paid correctly and things like that. So they have lawyers involved to make sure that it won't limit them. Um, but this could take up to six, like as at, at least six months to, or more for them to come to a conclusion. And then if it is that Sony is trying to restrict, restrict them from doing that, they will then be sued, which could also mean a halt on the distribution of certain animes yeah. through Sony. Um, and that sucks because like we said, Funimation also distributes animes. Um, most popular ones, like obviously like Naruto is on there now and so is My Hero Academia. My Hero, they, they're the ones that, that, yeah, My Hero, they're, they're the one that get the dub first is through Funimation before anybody else gets the dub. So it's pretty big because I, I agree with you when you mentioned it earlier. It's like, I didn't, we didn't see this coming. I didn't mm -hmm. think that was going to be an issue at all. But I don't know. I think either way, this is going to harm Sony because they don't have direct control over who gets what. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, they are gonna still have issues with the distribution of it anyways. Cause like if they give them what they want, then Sony only gets but a certain portion of it. They're I just guess. getting money. Yeah, they're just gonna get mm -hmm. money and no control over it. No no creative control. Um, and this comes after it being rumored that all the shows that are in pre-production for Crunchyroll are either gonna be canceled or halted due to this acquisition anyways, because it's not under Sony's ruling basically oh boy so mm -hmm. that's a lot i wonder if there's mm -hmm. also i wonder if there's also concerns that like this is them like monopolizing that market too since like they're basically yeah. trying to like own the two juggernauts 
Yeah, you know, it's kind of like what we've seen, like the the telephone companies, like one buying the other, and like, and we've even seen those like not go down because it's like no, like you're destroying competition and you're just monopolizing the market and not giving, but not allowing people about, to have options. But what does that say about companies like Disney who own Star Wars, Marvel, uh, Fox? They don't, but they don't own they don't own all me- multimedia conglomerates. That's true. You're they don't right. own them all. They just own, yeah, they own all the good ones, I guess. But <laughs> sorry, sorry, no one else had the money to buy them, you know. But they true. don't. But it's not like that. It it it'd be. I think the equivalent would be if like Disney said, "I right, we're gonna go buy Netflix now," right? And then they'd be like, mm, "I don't know," because right. then they already own Hulu, so that'd be a lot. Yeah, so then it's like, mm, all right, now there's no competition, you know, uh, or little right. competition, because then if you look at all the other streaming services, they're not up to par, and so it's like, right. Uh, so there definitely has to be a level of competition on the market. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I it sucks that they're gonna this is kind of gonna like halt things, slow things down, and right. Ultimately, could, maybe possibly. not release stuff, like cancel stuff altogether. Um, Possibility. Hopefully not for the sake of like, you know, the Japanese studios and the creators. Sake of the art. The people, yeah, people mm-hmm. who work hard on these shows and give us our Jujutsu Kaisens and Attack on Titans. Um, I, I really hope that they come to a consensus. And I think at the end of the day, Sony, if you have to bite the bullet, then just bite the bullet. Mm-hmm. You already are, so it's fine. But yeah, you know what's also interesting about this too? Because like, Sony's about to buy Crunchyroll. Now they own mm. now they own Evo, and I have a book. I have a coffee table book in my living room, which is like a it's a video game console book, and it just lists like all the consoles from like the seventies, from like just stuff when they were just making stuff, uh, mm. trying to see what worked, and like that's, some shits had contr- like telephones as like controllers. It was weird, but weird times, but. Uh, it, it's it's funny to see the kind of companies that were trying to make game consoles back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like Panasonic was like made a uh, a game console. Pioneer had a game console uh, in like no the eighties, nineties. Yeah, super weird. And so like companies you didn't think would would get into that field, getting into it. I mean, even that was Sony. Even right, Sony was an entertainment company, uh, multi, uh, multimedia company, and then they went and made a, a game console. Um, and it worked. Yeah, and it worked. And so it's really interesting now to see, like, now that not, I feel like we're, we've left that blurry area and now we're entering another blurry area where big companies like Apple and Microsoft and, and Sony are like just trying to be these one stop shops for like anything you need. And we might not have everything, but we've got a bunch. We, we might not have all the things, but we've got a little bit of everything. And just really interesting to see that. Um, Cause I don't know, like the, the evil thing just took me by surprise, man. Like, me too. I was like, like, what of all fucking things? I mean, I guess we talked fire. about it. Like Evo, yeah. I think that was more of an Evo going to Sony thing than Sony yeah. going to Evo. But then for Sony to even say, yeah, no, nah, we're going to do that. Like, that's so weird. And especially in like comparison to where Xbox is at, it's like, I don't understand. Mm-hmm. It's more or less like, okay, I'm trying to, you're making moves, but I'm trying to see where the checkmate is about to happen. Like, I don't really understand. I don't see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I literally don't see it at all. But, I mean, I, I still thought that the acquisition of Crunchyroll was a huge thing. Not just for Sony, but for Crunchyroll as, like, its standalone platform. And the way that it had built itself over the years. Um, yeah. I think... Uh, yeah. I think... Uh, if, I, if I could just divide the two. I think Xbox is in a position where they're trying to make their product better because mm-hmm. they, they needed to don't get me wrong. Like, uh, they had, they didn't have games. So like, that is what it is. Um, so they made game pass and they're improving and they're doing all this stuff to make their service better. And I feel like on Sony side, they're like, well, our service is awesome. The product that we offer is great. The games we make are great. PlayStation's great. There's nothing we really need to improve over there. What we need to do now is acquire more people like more customers and so like their way of doing that is all right we're gonna go buy evo and that's gonna lock in these fighting game players on our side we're gonna go buy crunchyroll and that's gonna put this anime fan base as a hmm 
PlayStation might be their first option now, even if they were an Xbox fan. Just like mm-hmm. if depending on how heavy of a Crunchyroll watcher, you know, how how, how much time you spend on that site. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think that if they don't shift focus soon, it's going to bite them in the ass because yeah, I think that they need to. Xbox is coming and they need to improve their product now, you know? Uh, yeah. I think they, I think they like on different paths. I think they're like just looking to do different things. Um, yeah, agreed. Yeah, but and then there's the Nintendo. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. Segway into Nintendo. You, 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 you kick this off too. All right. So for those who don't know, um, on the 31st of this month, with which is like what, like Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. A lot of, well, not a lot. Some pursuit of the competition hold on before we jump into it uh i pursue the competition it'll force their hand for innovation hopefully i 100%. definitely agree yeah i definitely agree you know what i learned recently i had no idea facebook owned the oculus yeah yeah and you I now no and you idea. now can't sign into an oculus without being signed into place uh, facebook like you have to connect it to facebook which is for me that's a no dog Sorry. you know what's even crazy? i don't have a facebook for <laughs> many of reasons that are that are correct being that there's nothing but old people on facebook in yeah. my opinion this is this is uh, super random before we get into the facebook thing so my my facebook got hacked earlier today apparently because i saw that i got an email <laughs> i got an email that uh my password had changed and i was like oh boy all right time to change my password and so i clicked the link in the email that they sent me and the, and the link says oh you know click here if this wasn't you so we can you know right you know fix this it, so I go in, I'm like, all right, let's confirm via email. Send me an email, send me the code, and then I'll input the code, and then I'll just change the password. I'll like create, usually you go to a page, it just says, all right, new password, retype password, right? We confirm password. Right. Why the fuck were they asking me for the current password that the hacker just changed? How would I know that password, homie? Like the, the reason I'm here is because I need to change that password. Right. Oh my God. I, I eventually got it done, but I didn't. I yeah. couldn't go through that email. I just I went to the website and I was like, forgot password. I was like, what the, f- what what's good? Like, why would you ask me? Yeah, like why would you ask me after yeah, you? Yeah, I thought that was really stupid. And Facebook. Facebook just gave me another reason to not like them. Fucking I hate Apple. Facebook. Yeah. But yeah, I had no idea they created the Oculus, and to know that you have to sign into an account that I don't have, because <laughs> I why would I use Facebook? <laughs> For what? Yeah. Um, I I got rid of Facebook as soon as I got it when I was younger. But I didn't know you needed an active Facebook account to use the Oculus. I mean, I can't use it anyways because I get motion sickness, mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter. But I thought that was a really interesting little, little tidbit. tidbit. I was like, of mm-hmm. all the things for them to own, the Oculus, I did not see coming. Yeah, that's but, enough um, for me, though. There's a lot. There's a yeah, few others same. out there. There's a few others out there for us non-Facebook users. Yeah, we're yeah. just like, ugh. But back into Nintendo. So some Mario games are leaving the eShop for good. Next week, um, we've got Super Mario 35, which is the Battle Royale Super Mario game. Um, All Stars 3D, which comes with Mario Sunshine Galaxy and the original Super Mario, right? No, no, oh, no, the original. But wait, hold on. Before you before you move off from Super Mario 35, they're not supporting that game anymore. Yeah, no, the like the, the online like, service. Yeah, like the service. Too. Yeah, like the servers. They're dumping the servers too, which is like, damn. Insane. Yeah, yeah it did pretty. Did do good. I mean, it was like for limited. I saw time. people playing it. Uh, yeah, me too. Cash games only. I don't know where he at, but Yusuf was playing that game. Uh, yeah. For quite some time. But they had announced last year when they did the Mario thing, it was only going to be for that amount of time, and then the. Servers oh, I didn't were know that. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was really that. whack when I heard it. Right. Um, and then the Super Mario Maker for the Wii U is also going to be no more. And I think there's also a Fire Emblem game that's also going to be off of the eShop as well for good, which is crazy. I mean, not really the Wii U. I know ever since they ported the game to the Switch that it wasn't going to be that way anyways. Mm-hmm. But as for the other games, like Super Mario 35 and we knew Mario All-Stars 3D was going to be gone. But yeah, the services are just kaput. What do you think about They're that, done. though? What do you think about this? This concept of them saying, all right, we're going to release this game only for this amount of time. And if you can't buy it, it sucks for you. You know? <laughs> you know like, I, think it's, I think it's rude. But I think, um, I think more or less with the All-Stars 3D, it sucks. Because, you know, people don't have the means of just buying. They're not like us where, like, you know, 
we're, we're Twitch streamers and we obviously want to make a business out of this and a lifestyle out of this really. And it's just something that we do for the betterment of content and to better inform ourselves. Not everybody has that opportunity, even though the holiday season was right after that announcement and when the game came out, it's still not fair because especially after a pandemic um, where people don't even have homes, uh, it's not fair. And I think that they should have did a grace period where they're like, hey, we'll keep this for an additional year because it sold so well. And then post that, you won't be able to get it anymore. But I'm not Nintendo and I know they don't care and that I, I just care. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it sucks because what if some kid gets a Switch this Christmas? Or like, what if somebody just doesn't own a Switch? Like, that's, that was my initial thought when like I heard it at first. I was like, but what if you don't have a Switch right now? And what if you don't? buy a switch before march 31st that means you're gonna buy a switch and what if you were a fan of those games now you're just Dang. asked out you'll never be able to buy those games and we talk about the, the price of physical copy skyrocketing that's a game that is going to yeah. skyrocket in price for the physical copy because it's yeah. just a game that you know very short window you know uh it did sell well uh so there are copies out there but i wonder how many of them are digital versus physical and mm. uh yeah that's, it's just nuts it's so nuts yeah it's such a, I'm sorry, but that's such a big fuck you to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big fuck you to the people who didn't have the disposable income to buy the game while it was out and already owned a Switch. And it's a big fuck you to people who maybe didn't want this Switch and were like, ah, oh, you know what, I'll wait until they make a better Switch. And, you know, make the better Switch comes out and now they cannot play those yeah, games. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like, and then I don't think they ever re-released them because then it, it never made sense for you to do that to begin with. You know what I yeah. mean? I, I mean, this is what I was thinking too, because you were saying, I mean, obviously we're all a little bit like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> we're all sweet and sour relationship, toxic. Yeah. The relationship between Nintendo and their fans is very toxic, yeah. but speaking of, I'm going to bring up something cause it's the 35th anniversary of Zelda and you made it known that like you were upset with, you know, what they decided to release versus what they could have done based off of mm -hmm. what they did for Mario. But like, what would you do in the situation of like, it's a timed, it's a timed thing. It's just only going to be for this amount of time and you won't be able to get it ever again because we don't care. Like if they did that with Zelda too? Mm -hmm. If they did it where you got, uh, what were the games you wanted? I wanted like uh, a, I wanted Twilight like Princess a Twilight Princess, like, Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker. And Wind Waker. Yeah. What if they did the same thing? Like how? I think that they would have had to. Like there's, because then, because right. then if, if they release a three pack and they don't make it timed, then they fall into people scrutiny and people will be like, so that, wait, yeah. why'd you make this a permanent game and not make Mario a permanent game? And then they would have fell under scrutiny for that. Right. Um, there's no winning when you have bad ideas. And that was a bad idea. Truth. There's no Truth. winning. There's no winning with bad ideas. Like Truth. that shit, that shit was, that shit was fucked up. I'm sorry. Yeah. That shit is straight up fucked up. Um, Especially with like last year and uh, the way things went after Animal Crossing came out, mm -hmm. you couldn't even get a switch. To this day, like you're maybe now you'll be able to get switches yep. and stuff like that, but they were completely yeah, sold out. That's another thing. What if you wanted a switch and you couldn't even get a switch? <laughs> I imagine I imagine some people bought that game because they were like, Oh, one day I'm gonna get a switch, and they're just sitting at home with a physical copy of a game that they they can't play anytime if soon. Cause, the, yeah. Yeah. Um it's kind of crazy. Because even then, it is yeah, it's it is crazy. And I agree with you that the there's probably a higher percentage of people who downloaded that game versus who actually bought the physical copy because mm -hmm. of when it came out and the fact that like mm -hmm. even if you went to your local GameStop, you knew they only had about a certain amount mm -hmm. of units, and it was very limited. Not because of GameStop, but just because of the pandemic. Yeah. So they were basically banking on digital downloads at yeah. that point. I'm not gonna was... lie to you. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I grab this really quick. Hold on. Ooh, what's he about to bring us? You know what might you know what might be oh, worth some coin one day? The oh, stickers shit. that came with that when you pre-ordered it. Oh word. Because yeah. I wonder how many people even have this uh for their Joy Cons. Uh I never it's used true. them because not interested. I mean, yeah, but, they should have uh, just gave you Joy Cons. But like I wonder how many of those there are around there and stuff. Um Jeez yeah. Louise. I don't know. Damn Nintendo. Yeah. Damn. Now I want you to I want you to talk about this next part for Nintendo because this is your biggest frustration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is your biggest like I can't believe they keep doing this to me, but they're doing yeah. it. All right, all right. So on top of the Mario news, um, 
So Bloomberg had reported that there's rumors uh, that the new Nintendo Switch has an updated chipset that's going to that's made by Nvidia that's going to have uh, DLSS. Uh, I forget what that stands for, um, but it's. It's basically technology that upscales resolution to a higher uh, to a higher resolution, so that right. games look better and frame rates are better. Um, and they're doing this so that they can get 4K resolution. And like, yo, I do not know. I, Nintendo's been around for how long? And they've never cared about being up to par with like where PlayStation and Xbox or PC are like they released a switch when we, when there was already a PlayStation pro and a Xbox one mm-hmm. X, they were already pushing upscaled 4ks, um, which is something really funny. I love marketing and how they're like, Oh, PlayStation pro Xbox, Xbox one, Xbox one X, you're playing 4k. And then they release a series X and a PlayStation five. And they're like, Oh, Hey, you're playing games in 4k. And it's because you were never playing games in 4K. That's like when they talk right. about 4G, and then they were like, "Oh wait, but we got 4G LTE. That wasn't actually 4G. This is 4G." Yada yada. We got five. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, that was just a little rant. But I don't know. They've never cared about this, and and to the point that I made when the the earlier rumor came out. I think that was like two weeks ago now, mm-hmm. uh, when this first surfaced. I feel like if we if we did a new study like today, I feel like most people play their switches handheld like even if you dock it you probably there's probably a 60 40 split and that 60 is handheld uh because it it is like it in 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 that and they know they know that it's the console that replaced handhelds because they killed off the ds the ds doesn't exist anymore they sell a light version that can't even be docked and so i would assume that most switch people out there play their games handheld i love my switch because i can take it everywhere with me that 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 Regardless of how cool you think docking it is, that was the selling point for the Switch. That this was a powerful console that you could take with you. And so for them to focus on the docking portion of it just makes no sense to me. And don't get me wrong, I'm trying to hear the I'm I'm trying to like lean into this battery life argument of like, oh, the screen can't be 1080p because battery life. Do you want to know why your Switch's battery life is so bad? Because it's constantly charging your Joy-Cons that don't need to be fucking charged. And, and, and a multitude of things. And some people have 2017 Switches, like, which I think yours is like yeah. a 2017 Switch, Yeah, right? I got mine, yeah. So like, yeah, like you have old battery. But that's every, that's every piece of technology in existence. You want to know why your iPhone battery sucks? Because you've had your iPhone for three years and you never replaced the battery. Like, duh, it that's sucks. True. Yeah, so like, maybe the answer is making it 1080p but then giving us the option to replace the battery you know because the yeah. battery life was okay when i first got my switch i never really complained about it It was like maybe like a year in where i was like oh fuck i can't really like play for more yeah. than like four hours at a time um i don't know the fact that they're focusing on on how well the switch plays on a tv versus how well it plays in mobile handheld it's yeah, and I me. feel like it's that's a test me. too. I mean, and even if you do get these 4K resolutions, what that game? new Zelda game, the Hyrule Calamity, it's still gonna, it's still gonna drop frame rates. It's still gonna stutter. I'm sorry. It's the, it's more than just the system itself. It's also the games that are with it, and the fact that they're still running on that same engine mm-hmm. they were running when they made the game. Um, I can understand why they're pushing for the docked option. And I, I know you're right that like more people probably do play handheld than they do docked. But for those percentage of people who go home and they assume that they're playing docked, especially in a pandemic, mm-hmm. they're like, hmm, you probably love playing your PC or your Xbox or your PlayStation 5. Let me try to like one up it for you. So when you play Apex, it doesn't look clunky. Yeah, it doesn't look And you're terrible. just like, yeah, and I think it's just for those play because I play it docked, but that's just because I have a screen for it mm-hmm. and my Joy Cons. I wish you guys would just focus on the Joy Cons, fix them, please. I don't understand how the controllers don't have the drift situation, but the freaking Joy Cons do. That makes no sense. Yeah. Fix your Joy Cons. I'm not mad about the increase of memory though. I think that's great for people who don't want to buy memory cards. Um, I don't care about the rumored price that it's like fifty to a hundred dollars more. If it's going to be the Switch Pro with, like, all this shit, I'm happy about that. But please, just fix your Joy-Cons. 
Yeah. Don't get me fix them. So yeah, don't get me wrong. I've been playing I've been playing my Switch docked a lot now that mm-hmm. I'm home. But that world is gonna disappear in hopefully a year. And then oh, we're yeah, all and then sure. we're all gonna be and then we're all gonna be back commuting to work, back to normal life and throwing that fucking yeah. switch in my book bag and Unless that's where it lives. Life, I almost yeah. never, I, when I was working, I almost never took it out of my book bag unless I was like playing at home. But then I, you know, yeah. I'm home and I'm playing PC games and other stuff. But, um, but you're not wrong. Even I people who are going to travel, I take my Switch with me whenever I travel. Um, not like to do stuff during the day, but like if I'm traveling, traveling, mm-hmm. like if I'm going back to New York or like yeah. if I'm going out of the country, that's the one thing I bring with me to like fill the void of like time when you're on the flight or maybe you just have days where you're not doing anything. And so you want to play a game. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I was, uh, forget my point. Forget my point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what I do hope that this means that them having DLSS, uh, Mm -hmm. capabilities is that all this talk of 4k is nice and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I'm skeptical that they're actually going to be able to maintain even 30 frames per second at 4k. Um, docked, but you're saying, yeah, docked. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it, it barely maintains the, the 1080 P sometimes upscaled at 30 frames per second. Like I'm supposed to believe then, that it's going to maintain 4k now, but no, but I hope even I wanna, the games, what even the games like Pokemon and like, they don't even make those games to be 4k or to be 30 frames per second or just like even 60 like they don't make them for that no no be, don't. like yeah so it's just like oh no and games need to be reprogrammed and rebuilt yeah to, to support that and stuff yeah 100 percent. like what what's the point of like i agree with you what's the point of this 4k resolution um even if we do like play docked like it, it's not gonna make a difference yeah I, i'm not playing the switch to get better graphics yeah my 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 silver lining is this is if you if you can get 4k at 30 frames per second, because you have to go 30 frames. You, you cannot go below that. That means you can definitely get 1080 at 60 frames. Uh, and like, yo, listen. And I, and I want 60 frames handheld and docked. Like, if I'm not getting 60 frames handheld, that's so disappointing. At 720p, you can't give me, sev- you can't give me 60 frames? That is incredibly disappointing. And in a world where like I can get on my Xbox and play at 120 frames, right? No, that's that's like for me that's it's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Yeah. And this is why I said, look like Nintendo's about to put out a dud. They're about to put out a dud. Wow. About to put out. I a mean, dud. I'm pretty sure that the we're gonna be not first in line, but we're definitely gonna be like, you know what? I'll get that new fucking switch. You know why but I'm gonna get it? Because it's gonna have Bluetooth. That's why I'm gonna get it. It's bastards. Terrible. I'm just gonna get it because my battery life is kind of bad. Bad, now. yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, oh, if you... also, the production is rumored to take place in June for people who wanted to know that, and they're trying to do like a monthly mass production with a target of one million products being made, and that they're hoping for that holiday. by holiday of 2021 that they can be able to sell this. So, with what games we don't know, but um, because I don't think I don't think I don't think uh, Breath of the Wild two is coming out this year. No. I mean, if they if homie said he had nothing to show us like a month ago, we're not getting that game he, this year. We're just gonna get um the new Pokemon. Well, the Diamond and Pearl. That's the only thing I feel like a lot of us care about, mm-hmm. at least in our community. And then we have that other Pokemon game coming out in like January. Arceus. Yeah. Yeah, which I'm personally so excited for. Yeah, I'm really excited um, for that one. Hopefully, they do another um thing soon to like explain it a little bit more mm-hmm. and then i don't care about splatoon three four five six and seven don't care yeah. never played splatoon and i think and like you said about uh like hyrule warriors mm-hmm. i'm i'm just trying to figure out what game on my switch i play currently that even has like decent high resolution textures like animal crossing like yeah but like high resolution <laughs> textures like you know like <laughs> When I play yeah. some games on my PlayStation, like the detail and like the most finite things oh, of are incredible. But like, yeah, don't get me wrong. Animal Crossing looks nice, but it's glossy. There's not a lot of like huge yeah, detail right. in there. It's just, it's my sharp. Answer. It looks, it looks great, Yeah. but it's not incredibly detailed to where like, no. you're like, yo, I need to play this in 4k. Like there's some games that you look at and you're like, yo, this would look incredible in 4k because they're going to have high resolution textures. Yeah, uh, Nintendo not making anything with high resolution no. textures. 
And <laughs> as great as Breath of the Wild looks, a lot of that stuff is flat. And yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's know. funny because I was going to also say Odyssey because I remember when um, that first appeared and how impressed we were. We were like, mm -hmm. oh my God, Looks we great. can see the strands of his hair. But like when you really look at it, you just, you can't even see all of that. So, um, it's whatever. Yeah. I actually you know went what? back to play that game and I was on the first level and I was like, what the fuck is this? And I realized that it was because I had gotten a new Switch and I don't know if anybody knows this. I don't know if anybody knows this. And I don't know if maybe I did something wrong and I fucked up my own life. But I got a new Switch and I kept my SD card. And I said, all right, great. All my games are on this SD card. My saves are on this SD card. I'm good. When I got a new Switch and I put that SD card in my Switch, it said that I had to format the, the, the SD card. And that's why I had to restart Breath of the Wild. And when I, re when I was playing uh, uh, Odyssey recently... That's why I realized, I was like, oh, I'm on the first level because I had to restart Odyssey. And I immediately turned it off. I lost Wait, interest almost what? immediately. Yeah, like, I, and I'm like, I'm hoping to goodness that I just fucked up something and I didn't do it right. Because like right, right. after that, I was like, but wait, like, what if you Should've lost your, like what if something happened to your Twitch and you got a new one and like, yeah. you just wanted to switch discs? Yeah, that shit, that shit fucked me up. That shit really fucked me up. And I remember looking it up. I remember looking into it because I was not willing to lose 80 hours of like Breath oh, of the Wild. Odyssey. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I ended up losing 80 hours of Breath of the Wild That's because of that. Insane. Yeah, shit is insane. Hmm. So just for just for everybody who has a Switch and you're wondering, I don't know. You might start have to just keep that Switch forever. Cause yeah, start a new unless, if you... Yeah. Unless they made updates since then because at that time that was like, mm -hmm. wow, man. That was like right after Bloomies. That was like 2019. Oh, so maybe it was something 2018, that they had. 2019. You know, it still had its kinks and stuff like that too. Because yeah. it was just only like maybe a year or two old at that point. Yeah, switch SD card into new switch. All right, we can move into the next one. But I definitely want to look Did into that. Do you want to that. talk about Monster Hunter Rise at all? Uh, Monster Hunter Rise? Yeah, uh, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't scroll yeah. down to the next page. But yeah. Yo, Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, God, well, we had talked about it earlier about my fail yeah. to go to go try to find that game. Um, I should probably just order it on Amazon. I don't even have time to play it this weekend. By the time I get it, uh, yeah, you'll be able to come. Have time yeah, by the time I have time to play, it'll, it'll, it'll come. Um, but yeah, I'm actually excited for it. Um, I've I've always had I've always had issues with mobile Monster Hunter games because they always mm -hmm. seemed watered down. Like they always seemed like they were missing certain components or like they were just too like this is what the point of this monster hunter is and it wasn't oh, really like as linear? expansive yeah super linear it wasn't really as expansive as uh the console versions were and i feel like now that monster hunter uh monster hunter uh oh wow now monster hunter world the one that came out on consoles a few years ago uh, that like I feel like popularized the title a little bit more because I I personally feel like the game was super hardcore before that like it had a hardcore fan base um, like you you played uh, Monster Hunter because you liked those kind of games like it wasn't the kind right. of game that was like a casual person could get into I think uh, right. Monster Hunter World broke like that broke down that barrier and I feel like this game is very it looks very very similar to World and um, wow. that it's expansive it. It, it doesn't seem watered down at all. It looks like a full-fledged Monster Hunter game. And that's why, and it's mobile. And I like that. I like that a lot. And I don't know, yeah, we, I don't know if Dirty Dan is still in the, still in the chat, but chat, yeah, me, and Dirty, was, me and Dan going to get their monsters. We're going to go hunting I'm going to peek in on Dan's streams whenever he yeah. streams. I tried to today, like I told you earlier cool. before we got on. But uh tried to watch Dan play, but by the time I got to sit down, he was off. <laughs> Yeah. So I would just watch somebody play GTA instead. But um, if not you, um, I mean, if not him, you. And then I have another friend who's been streaming Monster Hunter as well. I just haven't been able to check it out. I don't know much about Monster Hunter. Uh, I want the other game, I think, that they announced. I'm going to wait and see what it's like. But who knows? Maybe I'll just enjoy this a lot that I'll just get this game. I don't have anything that I'm playing on my Switch anyways outside of um, Fortnite. <laughs> You still play Fortnite and Switch? Okay, I like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I I would rather my Joy Cons drift than my PS Five controller drift. You know. 
Mm. You get you catch what I'm feeling. PS5 I'm controller drift. It really is drifting. You've confirmed that. I don't that? know. Mine is not. Mine oh, is okay, not. okay, 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 okay. No, because I remember you said. I, I remember you said you were like, oh, I think my thing is drifting. You know. Yeah, but I think it was because like I put it on my leg and it just like. <laughs> it was one of those. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not but yeah, um, it because it'll be the only game I play for the next few months. Yeah, it's fair. it's grindy. It's also grindy. It's not yeah. as the new ones aren't as grindy as the old one. That's why I feel like the mm -hmm. old games, the original games, were like super hardcore. Definitely. Like you had to be into that to do it. Like be on that wow tip. Like you have to be like into stuff like Dungeon yeah. Crawly, mm -hmm. Hades, even like things like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, um, but I hope it does well. I think I think it's gonna Me do too. well. They got a great, they got a big I fan so. base, and like I said, I'm I'm happy that there's there's a mobile version that exists like this now. Um, yeah. There's another Monster Hunter one. I don't know when that one's coming out. I when they when they announced the trailers, it was the one that you yeah. liked more. Yeah, I think it may come out later this year, but I'm not sure. I'm very, I'm getting. Oh wait, I'm getting very slight drift on the right joystick for the Dual Sense. Fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Are you playing anything that is like competitive? So like, are you playing like an Apex game? Are you playing like, you know, like things that require or a fighting user? game or something like that? Maybe. Uh -huh. Because I feel like that, that tends to happen, at least for me with my Switch, that's where it got worse. It's because I would play Fortnite on my Switch. Um, oh, it comes out in July. Okay, Stories thank two. you. Thanks, thanks for that. I'm going to look into Joel, that. Yeah, I'm going to look into that. I really want to. I don't have any I don't have any summer games or any games right now for that matter. Yeah, because... like you're looking forward to in the summer. Oh, oh, Skyward Sword. You're not looking forward to that? Oh, my God. It's the greatest Zelda game of all time, you know? That's, that's why they released it for the 35th anniversary. You didn't hear? No, fucking, I wasn't. I mean, I think we were Nintendo. there for that Nintendo Direct as a group, but I, it's a blur. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, that, I uh, guess that's the game no, I'm yeah. looking forward to. Um, Only because I think in May I have Resident Evil and then that Kenna game comes out, but in August. So, like, I really I was oh, going to wait for Back Kenna. to Blood, which oh. we'll talk about, but. Yeah, that Kena game is is gonna be. Yeah, good. that looks really good. Yeah, I'm really I'm looking excited for that. that. Um, um, speaking of Resident Evil, mm -hmm. the 25th anniversary. I'll probably take over this because Mondo is not a fan of scary games. No, but yes, no. They, the game's gonna be games. great. The game's gonna be great. I heard. That's oh, it. Yeah, That's my input. For sure. Yeah. I hope y'all like spicy. it. I hope y'all like it. I hope it scares you. <laughs> I'm currently. <Yeah. laughs> I'm currently playing through Resident Evil Seven on stream, and it, I love. Resident Evil. Not necessarily scared of this game. Um, it lost its scary factor for me, but I do enjoy the element of being chased and afraid at times. So recently Resident Evil announced on Twitter that they're going to have another showcase, which is most, more likely they're going to be showing off the Resident Evil Village. Um, and they also have another game that they're talking about. But I, yeah, I'm really excited to see what more is to come with the new game and what they're going to show us mm -hmm. and yeah shout out to resident evil it's been a long 25 years i can't believe i'm older than you but it is what it is <laughs> you're you're old can't now believe. that's that's yeah, i can't believe you were born in 1995 and i wasn't but yeah yeah no it's I, cool though. it's actually it's actually great to have seen the uh like the franchise come this far um yeah and and the evolution of it too yeah and the evolution like, of it too um from like first per or like third person to first person now it gives you really much a, a very much different atmosphere yeah um, and I, I also feel like they had like i don't want to say a bad stint but i know that they were making course. like these they got away from like the number iterations and they started making i don't want to say side games i don't want to call them side games because they yeah. were full games but other iterations of resident evil that didn't mm -hmm. really resonate with like the the larger fan the base community. yeah larger yeah. community and so it looked like resident evil was like oh wow resident evil games are bad now it's kind of crazy mm -hmm. and it, it's great that they found that light again and recently with seven um yeah and, and and the i haven't heard a single resident evil fan say that they're not looking forward to eight like i haven't seen, yeah. heard a single person say oh no that doesn't look like my kind of game no everybody yeah. is hyped for it I think with Resident Evil, it went from being like you said, like we said, like scary-ish, like mm -hmm. horror thriller, and it lost that along the way, going into like five and six. I, mean, I haven't played four to know, but like five and six, I feel like just there are different elements, mm -hmm. and it just you know kind of fell off for a bit. And they do have like side games like Revelations and Zero and all this other stuff. Um, but yes, seven for me got me reintroduced 
Um, and it was probably truly the first game I ever played as an adult. Mm-hmm. And I fell in love with the mm-hmm. storytelling and like the first person aspect. And I'm really excited to see where it takes place or like what happens in the next game because Chris is in it again where he's from five and Ethan from seven is in it as well. So it's it's really cool. It's it's gonna be interesting. That's and sad. there's vampires for whoever likes yeah. that kind of stuff. Tall, but, nine foot yeah. tall. Tall. She's like eight voluptuous, feet tall. voluptuous vampires. Women. It's just <laughs> a guy getting chased by women. Vampires. Oh, dreams, yeah. dream come true. Right. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the follow, <laughs> Jail Doom. Um, RE7 is so much fun. It's yeah. difficult, but it's fun. Yeah. Uh, Greg. Uh, Greg Nice. Yes. Greg Nice. Shout the out homie Greg. Greg Nice. Yeah. Sh- the homie Greg Nice was recently playing. I-, I think he beat it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he beat two three and then he played seven mm-hmm. um but yeah shout out greg he is also very much into resident evil that's the yeah. homie yeah so very much resident evil fan well, and i think dan is too i think dan likes it as well mm-hmm. dan dan's a dan's a fan too for sure um yeah i'm not gonna catch me on that block but no you know? that's not mondo's place look, I, i'm gonna say it again if they do <laughs> look i'm gonna say it here live on save point Go. if they remake silent hill if they remaster Silent Hill, make a new Silent Hill, I'm going to play that game. I'm going to buy it with my own hard-earned money, and I'm going to play that game. I'm going to go back to where it all started. I'm going to face my fears. I'm going to face my fears where they originally started. Yeah. And that's it, you know? And then you'll be fine. You may not be fine. But you'll I may be fine. not be fine. I may <laughs> not be fine at all. <laughs> I only hope for, like, when they remaster that, that they implement, um, like how they did for a resident evil 2 and 3 remake where mm-hmm. it's just like it automatically saves because if you die in the original silent hills you got to start from the beginning yeah what and also in certain also in certain resident evil games it's still like that like i think resident e the first one you yeah it restarts you from the beginning if you don't save nah that's so that's crazy there's a yeah there's a there's a video that went viral uh this streamer I follow, uh, it's called uh, Sto- Story Mode, Story Mode Bay, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Um, she was recently playing like the Lion King, uh, like Sega game, and she died. And she was like, all right, no problem, you know, we start. And then like the startup menu comes up again, and she's like, wait, the fuck? She's like, wait. It's like, <laughs> it's like is the game restarting? And she's like, nah, no fucking way. Yeah, she was pissed. Yeah, she was fucking pissed. Like, That's just the funny. Original Super Mario Brothers. You're yeah. just like, fuck this shit. Yeah. I don't want to play no more. Or Scott Pilgrim versus the world. If oh. you die, it'll start you from the beginning of the level. And you're like, mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was already right. hard enough to brawl my way over here. Right, yeah. please. Still, yeah. still, still the big one. Still the big one. Um, yes. All right, so. It's coming out in theaters again next month. Or something. Yeah. Stop. That's such like a, a reason special. to watch it again. I mean, not in theaters, but right. it's a reason to find where else I can watch it and watch it. Um, <laughs> right. Oh, drop, <laughs> drop dead, Nat. I'm so happy that you're able to catch the podcast. Yes, live. thank you, Nat. Hi. And this, and this is just a reminder to everybody who's listening on podcast services that we record this. Damn, it's been weeks since we recorded this on a <laughs> Thursday, but today's Friday. Um, oh, us- yeah, yeah, yeah. We we I usually record these on Thursdays. Um, 10 30 we'll p.m. We'll probably go live at, on a Saturday next week. Cause... Yeah, <laughs> just because it is that way, right? But um, and Falcon fa- and um, what you call it? Oh yeah, Falcon Winter Soldier. Um, but yeah, catch us. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. Um, yeah, that's the best way to know. And, yeah, follow us on follow us on the networks. If you if you're listening on podcast services, uh, it's in the description. So yeah. you can follow us there. Uh, and. Yeah, you'll you'll be able to you'll you'll know when we go live if we if we change it from mm. Thursdays. Um, we usually change it. We've been changing it for Thursdays because we were watching Wandavision. Um, last night I filled in for Ivan, and to be honest with you, I texted Alyssa after I got off, and I was like, "Yo, Alyssa, I completely forgot that we were supposed we to record did. today." Yeah, <laughs> I was just um, typing him up in the chat, which was funny, and we both were acting like it was a regular Thursday. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, look, follow us, catch us live. The shows, yeah, the shows awesome. You know. You want to see our beautiful faces? Come on, you know what I mean. <laughs> we'll do the. We'll do the. That's what uh, Brandon. The does. Brandon. The Brandon. That's nice. Yeah, you miss Wandavision. I mean, I do too. 
Only because, yeah. like, I feel like Falcon and Winter Soldier is not hitting. But oh, that's uh, only because it's like it doesn't. It's have different. Same, it's different. Yeah, it just yeah. doesn't have the same feeling. It doesn't yeah. feel like a TV show. It feels like a movie. So I'm like, okay. It does. It does. I, I think I told you that, right? I was like, yeah, I think yeah. this one feels like a movie. I actually like that about it, though. Um, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that yeah, next, next week, week since we'll be like halfway through the season, like the series. The series, yeah. Um, and then after that, I think it's Black Widow, which is interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but we were talking about a, a game last week that got delayed, mm -hmm. uh, which was Gotham Knights. But mm -hmm. uh, CDPR setting trends out here. You know what I mean? Didn't didn't make the game that they wanted to make, but still setting trends, still setting the standard, and that standard now is don't put out garbage, all right? Because we're not taking that, we're not accepting that. Uh, and so, the latest game to get delayed is Back for Blood, which is which looks like it's the reincarnation of Left for Dead. Um, it's basically Left for Dead, but it's with a new name. Yeah, with a new name. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Rest um, in peace, Bill. I actually think what I think uh, somebody on that development team is from the yeah. Left, original Left 4 Dead team, which is awesome. I think so I know, you know you know they're doing it right over there. They're getting. But if I'm not wrong, special. aren't the same people who made Left 4 Dead making this game? I may be wrong. No, no, no. It's a new studio. Okay. It's, okay yeah, okay. it's a new studio. But uh, yeah, we're all bummed. But but some of the devs are from the original team that made Left 4 Dead. Oh, okay, that's um, why. Yeah. I, I feel like I remember that tidbit from when it was announced. Okay. Um, cool. Cool. But yeah, they 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 delayed Back for Blood. Uh, yeah, it's made by Turtle Rock. I don't think Turtle Rock made uh, Left 4 Dead. Left 4 um, Dead. But it's, it's been delayed till October twelfth, and ooh, that's that's like seven months I'm from now, hurting. six and a half months from now. Yeah, and I mean, don't get me wrong, I I wasn't part of that alpha, beta, you know, whatever um, yeah. happened like right after the announcement. But damn, did it look good? It looked really good. <sighs> it looked fun. Yeah, it looked fun. And especially if you got teammates to play that with, like, you know, a crew yeah. to play that with, that looks like a hell of a time. Um, it's unfortunate, but I'd rather them delay it than give us than give us a buggy a game. I don't think... Game. They, yeah. yeah, don't get me wrong. Like you said uh, earlier, it didn't look like the game wasn't ready to be released, you know? The right. game looked pretty good from what everybody was playing, and from our understanding, there weren't a lot of complaints about it. Yeah, there's always stuff to fix yeah but um i'd rather not get a buggy game at all i'd rather yeah just go squash that you know and even if even if they just delayed it because they were like look there's just there's just a bugs we got to squash and don't want to release it that way sure. cool awesome like i'm tired of getting unfinished games Alyssa. so tired of oh. it Oof. you got you got an unfinished mm. kingdom hearts 3 you know what i mean like just yes. tired of it tired of it so i just want yeah if you're gonna announce a game don't and you're not necessarily sure of when it should be released then don't give it a window but don't or like don't even do that just show us the game and don't put i feel the same about the new god of war why put a year on it if you haven't talked about it mm -hmm. like even the new horizon why put a year or a day on it if you're not going to talk about it like mm -hmm. i think just keep us in suspense and we'll always be wondering, oh my God, are you going to, and have us be annoyed with that versus like getting a date. And then you'd be like, well, here's the thing. I, we just want to fix on it. Like work yeah. a little harder for the sake of you. We saw what happened with cyberpunk and we just, we, we just yeah, don't want we that. Don't want that. So, uh, we don't want that. Yeah. I'm, I'm um, still waiting for that God award delay too. I just think the PlayStation's oh, waiting, waiting for too. the right time for it. For the right time to not upset us because I think, Anybody who's being realistic with themselves doesn't think that no. game is coming out this year. So when yeah. they say it, it's just going to be like, all right, something we knew already. And thanks yeah. for confirming it. Uh, release the game when you're ready. Uh, but yeah. the silver lining, silver lining, is just going to be an open beta in the summer. Uh, yeah. Who knows when that's going to be? Summer is June, July, August. But even somewhere some in that window. that May. Yeah, May even, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. But... Uh, Look out for that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, at least that'll give us... I say it's going to give us a little taste and hold us off, but all it's going to do is it's going to make, make us... Hungry. Yeah, it's going to make us hungry. That's all it is. Yeah, that's all it's going to do. So, um, and maybe what they're working on is that cross-play situation because as of right mm. now, they haven't announced it. Mm. They haven't announced cross-play, and I think for a game like that, you're going to need cross-play. It's kind of pathetic yeah, at this point if you don't do it. That's, that's definitely a game that... Uh, Needs you it. want to play they with as many it. friends as you can. Yeah, it definitely course. needs it. Yeah. For sure. And we talked about that. I think we talked about that last week. I mean, we've been talking about it, but crossplay is the standard now. Like, Of course. I, I'm sure this game, again, 
when did when was this game starting to get developed? Was it still on that blurry line of like is crossplay awesome? Is it going to become mm-hmm. a thing? I think once crossplay once once Fortnite hit crossplay, you had to know at that point that crossplay was going to become the standard. Uh because it was just too good. I could play with my yeah. friends anywhere. Listen. So if that's the thing, if that's what they're doing, do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. I don't want to I don't want to be like, "Oh god." Gotta play on my Xbox if I want to play with my friends, because most of my friends who have it are on Xbox or or on PlayStation or whatever it might be. That's a sucky feeling, and I'm glad yeah. that I think we're like three to five years away from even talking about crossplay being like a topic of discussion. Yeah, uh, it should just be like it shouldn't even be a thing yeah. at that point. And I'm with Nat just said, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know Overwatch wasn't. Um, wow! Yeah, I didn't think I didn't I didn't know that they have it. It's too that. big of a game for it. But not let me to wrong. Be. It came out way before Crossplay became a thing. Of course. And again, and again, but you know, like infrastructure changes like that. That's got to be built into the like foundation of the game. But right. for a company that has as much money as Blizzard and stuff, that is kind of shocking. They yeah. just got acquired by Activision. Activision There's no yeah. excuse. <laughs> yeah. There's no excuse. Um, um, and I would put Valorant in there, but Valorant is only on PC. It's so only on it's PC, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that makes sense. If it's only on one specific place, I get it. But like, that's so weird because like COD does it. Yeah, and I and I think at this point that's even that's not even happening because they already announced Overwatch yeah. two and. Oh yeah, I imagine and Overwatch, Overwatch 2, two has to be crossplay. We'll have it. Yeah, yeah. The Overwatch two uh, better be crossplay. That's not even that shouldn't even be a question. Um, yeah, Diablo two is. Is cross save cross but not save, cross play. play. Yeah. That's so random. Yeah, we spoke about that. Right? Don't I? Yeah. yeah, and it's like foundational stuff, you know. I, I don't know. It's kind of crazy to me, but whatever. Uh, cross pl- cross save is at least something, you know. Yeah, uh, that's Destiny true. Destiny gave people that they gave, they gave uh, cross save, but now also Destiny is implementing cross play. Cross play. Uh, yeah, so that, that just shows how powerful it is. But yeah, yeah, kind of here nor there. Um, but last topic of discussion. Um, we added this at the we last minute, actually. About, yeah, but we seem to be talking about GameStop a lot these days. This just got a lot going on. I, th- I feel like yeah. they're just trying to figure it out. And so, like, whatever comes out that's news-wise about mm-hmm. them figuring it out, you know, it's got to talk about it. Yeah. So, uh, apparently, uh, GameStop is going to start selling PC parts, uh, accessories, um the whole nine, they're about to, you know, become that section in Micro Center. They about, to, yeah, I guess they're gonna start, you yeah. know, put a little Micro Center corner, um, and I think that's interesting. Mm-hmm. And I just, look, I look, I, I get it. They're they're a huge business, and like stonks, the stonks, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's I think it's super interesting that they just. I mean, you're not just supposed to let your business die. I guess, right? I guess you do right. got to do what you got to do to keep it afloat. Yeah, I just fighting. it just sucks that I don't ever feel like anything that they're doing is gonna keep them afloat. Like I don't think that this is gonna change anything. I don't think mm-hmm. that PC gaming has become such a triumphant thing that it's now going to save your business because you're gonna start selling graphics cards and and monitors and stuff like that. Um, there's already you know there's already staple places for that like Micro Center like and, literal staples yeah <laughs> uh, yeah like little staples um, even Best Buy has started yeah, carrying more like like higher tier stuff in store where like they used to sell it online but now they're offering that, that now that you can get it in store Newegg too that's another one yeah um, so like there's just other outlets that have cemented themselves as the place to go to for that and yeah, for, for GameStop to like feel like that's the thing that's gonna change it for them i i just don't agree i don't think so and i think this is yeah. just something that they're gonna do and it might last for a while and more stores are gonna close and you know, i don't think it's gonna last for any at all i think I, I i just have to agree there's just like better avenues and i agree with what nat is saying in the chat that like you know hopefully they don't overprice even with like the exchange of like you going in and bringing your parts and things like that, you're still oh. gonna get the lesser end of this. Like yeah. the, literally, you're I'll not gonna you, get. As I'll give much. you a hundred dollars for that thirty eighty. Right. That, that costed you like, seven hundred. Don't worry about it. No, yeah. no big and deal. You're like what the fuck am I gonna do? And then they're gonna be like, but if you know, listen, listen, if you if, if you're use a rewards the member, store, then, ooh, Crin store credit, you'll get, you'll get like three hundred, and you'll be like, not even. They'll be like, I give you one hundred forty. Yeah, <laughs> <It's her> credit. <laughs> um, 
I understand that they want to keep up with the game. PC gaming has grown a lot more in the last few years, but they aren't fair, and that's where I feel like they'll fall. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the same way. Like, they're not a fair business. Um, I think I stopped shopping at GameStop as of maybe, like, last year since moving, um, mostly because I do things digitally. But then I also just realized, you know, Target's an option, Walmart's an option, and Walmart's a cheaper option mm -hmm. sometimes, and so is Amazon. Um, yeah. It's just, it's a dying business, unfortunately. And it's something, it's like Toys R Us, even though that's coming back. You hate to see it go, but you understand why, because mm -hmm. the world is changing yeah. and it's just not an option at this point. Personally, I will not be buying anything from GameStop in regards to a PC. And I will, you know, go buy what Mondo tells me to go buy. <laughs> because he's the PC guy. Oh, come on. Um, stop, stop. But uh, <laughs> you, you, know what, you know what did it for them too? Nobody nobody wanted to save them. Like, I know that we joke a lot about how they'll, they'll give oh, you yeah. $3 for the game you bought a month ago. But like, that, that, angst, that angst carried for years. You know, I never oh, forgot. Yeah. I never forgot that I walked into a GameStop and they decided to give me fucking pennies on the dollar for a game that was worth way more than that. Uh, yeah. And especially now, you know what else killed them? A lot of people don't talk about this either. The the resale market killed them. Having oh, options yeah. like Let Go and Offer Up and 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 Facebook Marketplace, where I could go and sell my game for what I actually think it should be fucking worth, yeah. like thirty dollars or forty dollars, then going to you and selling it to you for ten because you're gonna fuck me over just because you're trying to make an insane amount of profit like on top of it. Off of, yeah. Uh, and I think all that combined. They just couldn't survive it. Uh, no. And look, if, if and they with, die, they die. They die, they yeah. die. <laughs> and with like, uh, like also other, uh, like, you know, it's becoming like a, sh like almost like a street where culture with, when it comes to gaming. So stock X resells freaking yeah, PlayStation, PlayStation and Xboxes. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe even go, I haven't seen it on go, but like there are two places I would not go to for electronics. I'd go there for like sneakers specifically, yeah. not really clothes either. Cause like, I just don't trust, but, um, yeah, it's just so weird that they think that they, in this day and age that they're going to have a place that's going to be profitable for them, mm -hmm. but like undercut the consumer. That makes no sense. That yeah. genuinely makes no sense at all. I think, I think, um, I think the one thing that they were doing that could have helped them a little bit was shifting that focus to like GameStop being a place where you could go and play games again. Yeah, like, I think so too. I think that was the one thing that I don't want to say it would have been their saving grace, but I mean, those things are popping up all over the place. I, I, I walked yeah. through an airport. The last time I walked through an airport, they were building a gaming lounge in the fucking airport. That's so awesome. And so like it, that's the direction the world is going in. Um, because mm -hmm. gaming is being more accepted now and et cetera, et cetera. Like the OLOS, the place that we, we used to throw our events at. Um, yeah. You know, places like that are, are, are surfacing. Existing. And so I feel like that would have been a, a great shift for GameStop. It'd be like, hey, all of our stores are about to become this hub where, you know, we got we yeah. got PCs that you can play. We got some consoles and stuff like that. And then and then you shift the you shift the outlook and, you know, the the brand image to community and yeah. being a hub where people can can come and stop and game it like what the yeah. fuck that was so, that, now that i'm actually thinking about it it's such a great it sounds, idea but it I'm, sounds like a pokemon center or yeah. like a pokemon like a pokemon or anything like that yeah. like it sounds so cool. i miss them like having consoles there too when i was a kid yeah. going and playing like ah hold on mama yeah yeah i want that game but let me let me try out this yeah. game too for now, a little bit they literally won't even let you play like games in some mm -hmm. areas. Yeah. They take out the system. You just have to watch the screen if yeah. the screen's on. Yeah, if the screen's on, you're right. If the TV's not messed up and they never replaced it, uh, I would also I would also appreciate if they cared more about the gaming community than how much goes into their pockets. Yep, I know it's part of a business, but it doesn't feel right. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like that that angst that you feel mm -hmm. about that five dollars that they gave you for a game. That mm -hmm. in a secondhand marketplace today, you would have gotten thirty dollars for, because brand new it's sixty, and I'm sure somebody is willing to pay thirty dollars for a game that for the game that yeah. yeah you know and versus giving that shit up for ten to to uh, land parties wow yeah so yeah like and that's the thing like they they fucked up their image and and 
Yeah. And I know we joke about it mostly online, but it isn't really it's a reality. joke. It's reality. And a lot of people don't like that shit. And no, I don't feel like nobody liked that shit. Nobody liked it. You, if you did it, it's because you had to do it or you didn't have another mm-hmm. option or you just really didn't want the game anymore and you were willing to trade it in for something. Um, yeah. But it always felt bad. It, that, that transaction never felt good. Ever, yeah. ever, ever, ever felt good. And yeah, that caught up to them. That mm-hmm. that's a life lesson right there. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck with your customers. Don't don't treat them like shit. Um, yeah, you know uh, that shit. That shit goes a long way. Uh, I also want to say, um, Best Buy is no better. At least GameStop will take the game back. If you open the game, yeah, they will Best not Buy, take yeah. it. Yeah, no. Walmart takes anything though, so just just so you know, but, just so you know, yeah. <laughs> just go give it to Walmart. Yeah, but literally. Um, and then I guess the last thing would be Reggie left, which yeah. I, I personally did not know. Yeah. So for those who don't know who Reggie is, he used to be like, what, what was the president, he? He's the president of, uh, president, president, of, president of, of, of Nintendo, of Nintendo. North Nintendo. America. Yeah. Yeah. North America specifically. And he had announced, what was it? Maybe like a couple of years ago that he was leaving, was Nintendo, leaving Nintendo and then yeah. announced that he'll be working, you know, helping GameStop get back where it is. So I think GameStop is at a loss. To the point where if Reggie can't help, then there's no point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Reggie you know? can't help, if, if Reggie's like, oh, this is this is a dub, guys. Yeah. And, um, and that's not yeah, only good look on them either as a company, you know? Oh, no. Um, um, but I was very surprised to hear this information that Mondo shared with me recently yeah. as of like hours before <laughs> we went live. Um, so I don't know much about it, but I don't know if you do. No, Maybe I don't know people. much about it. I. He's oh, leaving. Just, what what else there? What else is there to talk yeah. about? He's leaving the board, you know? That's true. That's that that's all there is to people know. Go to Best Buy. People yeah. do go to Best Buy to buy yeah. games. I actually I buy I buy games at Best Buy because they be having crazy sales sometimes. Deals. Like, like mm-hmm. I bought I bought uh I bought Borderlands three brand new for eight dollars. And I yeah, was they like, really be Oh, here. we in there. I bought a uh, uh Neo. They be having like Neo, I think that's the name. N I N I O H. Uh, okay. It's like a it's like a oh, Sam like Sword Neo, game. Uh, Nia, Nia, whatever that new yeah. I yeah. Know so I bought I bought the second one for eight dollars. So good, so good. I can't I can't I love deals like that. I couldn't say yeah, no. Yeah, you I know. Couldn't say no to you that. Gotta, so a brand new physical L. game, eight dollars. I'm right. taking that. Taking that to the bank. They be having the deal, and they be sometimes they have like those like collector's edition type shit on mm-hmm. sale for like eight bucks or ten dollars. Yeah, they had yeah. like The Last of Us, the collector's edition. What was it like two Christmases ago or Black Fridays ago, on sale for five bucks. Yeah, they be having they be we, having some crazy deals. We copped. Yeah, I, I've been hard riding Micro Center, and it's because the price. Oh, they price match. Yeah, they price there. match anything. I love Micro Center. Wow. Oh my goodness. When I found out the price match Amazon, I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm never shopping anywhere ever again." And I like for like Amazon electronic stuff. electronics, yeah. Um, and I just love walking in there too because it's just like, this nice. is the place to be if you like <laughs> any just if you like electronics, any kind of electronics. This yeah. is the place to be. Uh, I love it, and that's and I think that's like a an example of how yeah people are saying brick and mortars are dying but also some of aren't course. some are thriving mm-hmm. and i think micro center is one of those that are like thriving maybe it's because they've also kept it relatively small like i think there's only like yeah maybe about 30 locations nationwide uh oh, that's good yeah um and they and they hone into one thing and they stick to it i think a lot of the times with brick and mortars they just try, try to, do to do everything, everything under the sun yeah, and they do. They sell TVs and yeah, um, I'm sure and multimedia stuff, but like they don't sell laundry machines and like refrigerators and stuff like that. Like like Best Buy does. <laughs> really throwing shots at Best Buy. Yeah. No, <laughs> and the fact that actually too, like Best Buy wouldn't price match off something. Right. Oh, what? I did not know that. They'll price match Samsung.com. Oh, yo! I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. Because like Best Buy only, like, Best Buy only like price matches like other like brick and mortars. Like you yeah. know, like not now they started doing Amazon, but they'll you know Walmart and stuff. That is bugged out. That's bugged now out. Now you know. Now and she I be know knowing because she she recently I think rebuilt her PC. Um, oh, I like she, that. She, That's she be good looking, news. She always be looking for a deal. So <laughs> I trust now on that. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Her. I like that. Okay, yeah. thanks for that info. I gotta go yeah. to Micro Center just to walk around there sometime soon. I, I'm gonna try to place. shop for a PC within the next year or two. Yeah, especially because I'm moving. And so. also, something that GameStop didn't do that Micro Center does—they treat their customers well. Um, <laughs> I've never walked—I've never walked into a Micro Center and not felt welcomed in there, like at all. 
Um, Yo, GameStop employees will ignore you. As yeah. if they don't need the, the transaction. But they will ignore you. Like, they don't need the transaction. And there's only, like, two people in there. And there's, like, and and there's like seven... The and they're, like, 17 people out on the... Like, waiting for yeah, help or waiting online or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of They crazy. also... Yeah. Oh, I hate going to GameStop on, like, hot, like holiday seasons. Because, like, there literally is only two people behind the register. And people be asking for the... Uh, never mind. Let me not. <laughs> people be asking... I hear you because I know what you feel. This is how I feel when I get to the ATM. I'm like, bro, did you not know what you came here for? Did They're you? like, or they get the one kid that comes in with the little advanced games. Like he's about to get a whole bunch of money for that shit, bro. They're going to give you a penny each for each advanced game you have. Yeah. For each DS game you have. What? The, how are they going to make a profit off of that? Yeah. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, so I guess lesson here is fuck GameStop. Shout out yeah. to Micro Center. Go shop at Micro Center. This episode is sponsored by nobody. <laughs> but maybe <laughs> maybe one day Micro Center. Maybe cool. Chipotle will finally. I, I did apply. Apparently. I applied to Micro Center way back, way back when. Oh, really? Like college days, yeah. But I didn't take the job because I got I had gotten another job and they were paying more. But, Dang. But yeah, there's, there's some cool people. There's some cool people uh, in Micro Center. And I ended up having a lot of friends that uh, ended up having a lot of friends that uh, worked in Micro Center too. I got wireless yeah, earbuds, drone, Raspberry Pi, get. micro SD cards for free. You got a Raspberry Pi for free? Oh, that's dope. That's actually super. That's actually what's up. Um, Nat began the hookup apparently. Yeah. Oh wow, Nat. You, you need to hit Nat up for the for the deal. Yeah, I'd be like, hey. <laughs> I follow I follow exactly. a few video game deal accounts. Gotta follow Nat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Follow Nat. She, she knows all. Apparently, she's a big Valo player too. Oh cool. yeah. Yeah, big Valo player. That's what's up. She's really good. She used to play with uh, DBD with me and our friends, but she she hates that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Um. But um. Yeah. God, why am I keep yawning? This is what happens when you get four hours of sleep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my neighbors were so loud. Mm. Mm. I can't wait to move. Yes, my man is a computer science guy. Oh, and he loves that Raspberry Pi. Yeah, that Raspberry Pi this is a one. We have a we have a bunch of I like like un, like as VGA is like a group. We have each of our own, so we have five, and then we bought like four additional ones. Mm -hmm. And our last event was actually a retro gaming night. Uh, alongside like a Smash tournament, and we like lined up all those Raspberry Pis on like a bunch of TVs, and uh, my Raspberry Pi, my personal one, has everything from like Sega to Dreamcast. Wow. Yeah, which is awesome. I love that thing. Super love that thing. Connect my. You can connect a PlayStation remote, Xbox remote. Wow. Um, yeah. Even the Dual Sense. I don't know about the Dual Sense because uh, I'm looking at, at that now. time when I had it, the PS4 was out. And okay. it was the PS3 yeah. controller that worked really well with it, um, but yeah, it's insane. It, yeah. It's it's so cool. And I wonder, I forget what letter was the one that I had, they, but I know that I was looking forward to the next iteration because even though I had the Dreamcast, mm -hmm. the frame rate was a little choppy, and so of I course. was like, oh, when they release the next one, I. All I kept thinking is when they release the next one, we might be able to put PS2 on it. And I was like, someone recently told me, and my someone that like follows me on Twitch um, told me that they still have their PlayStation or they have a PlayStation One. And Ugh. I was like, I wish. I wish. I still yeah. wish I had my my uh, my Dreamcast. I don't think I, I don't have that shit no more. I wish I had all my old consoles. Like me too. What I was wish I was thinking I getting S rid of those SP, things. My ad what was I thinking? Yeah. Uh, what were you thinking trading those in? I just, uh, I just don't think at the time we made we didn't know better. Like I think now, I like if I have a kid and my kid's like, oh dad, and, and I want the new the new the new Game Boy, the new Switch, whatever the hell is out mm -hmm. then. I'm be like, all right, well, cool. Well, give me the old one because we keeping that shit, dog. We are not getting rid of that. Hell yeah. Ain't no way. We got space in the crib. We're keeping it. We're keeping oh, it. Oh, there's a game room. There has to be a game room in the crib. Yeah. I'm sorry, but there has to be for us gamers. There's yeah. no way. Yeah, no Feel way. bad for the man that I'm going to marry because he's going to walk into that game room and be like, what are all these figures doing here? <laughs> like, what is up with you and these anime figures? And I'm going to be like, don't question it. He's like, this is the kid's room. You Wait. Can't, no, this is my gaming room. Since we're going, since we're going into lingering thoughts and outro, 
Uh huh. You own a Deku figure now? It's back there. It's not out of the box yet. I but can bring the but box you, to but show you, you how big. But you bought a Deku. I, I just want. Let me let me go Deku? grab and show you how Deku? big this box is, y'all. Deku. Yeah, Deku. It's it's actually okay. It's actually really phenomenal. This Deku figure is insanely yeah. beautiful. Like. I'll go, I'm gonna yeah, go box. get it. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we pull. Oh my God, drop. De Yo, drop dead. Let me tell you, I was nasty in we bowling. Let me tell you, oh uh, that in tennis, I used to go. Oh wow, that's huge. I used to go back and forth. I'm like, you're not getting. Send that ball back. Oh. I just, oh man, I, I miss Wii Sports box. so much. I, I miss Wii Sports so much. Oh my gosh. Oh People my were goodness, saying with man. The new, with the new Switch that they wanted that though. Yeah. Yo, listen, if there's any game that they could port from the Wii, look, I'll Please. take I'll take Wii Sports before before uh, Twilight Princess. Oh, I'll for take sure. I'll take Wii Sports way before Twilight Princess. Make it online too? Stop it. Stop we will be having competition. We will have a on VGA all the events. Stop forget Apex, it. forget Smash. It's <laughs> Wii Sports it. only. Good God! I, no, I'm streaming Wii Tennis every day. We would box, of course, of course. Yeah. Oh, yo! Oh my God! This is so good. Wow, you bring you bringing it back right now. Now you bringing it back. I want the I want the bowling, and I still want them to have the same reaction. Oh, no. in the background. Yeah. It's nothing without yeah. that. It's nothing without that. And we have having baseball. We're doing baseball too. We're having baseball too. Yeah, yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. The whole night, yeah, all the games were ball. fun. Like every single one of them was actually really fun. Like, don't get me wrong. I feel like most people would like put bowling at the top, maybe. Uh, yeah, bowling was bowling was the top for me. Bowling was the top for yeah, me. For me, it was best. bowling, tennis, boxing, baseball. I enjoyed baseball second mm. yeah i think it's just because i liked i like I, I i bat lefty but i'm a righty so like i just feel like i'm cool so yeah uh, um what do you guys that, have that have a meet and greet and have everyone dress up as a wee character oh my god yes Stop. everybody dress up as your me's oh as my god we would love to no one wants to meet us though but i would love to do stuff like that someday <laughs> there's something fun uh a memory that always sticks to me about the Wii, I don't know if y'all remember this, but the Wii used to do like those global votes uh, where like you could vote on something. Oh, like they would ask yeah. a, a question and there are two answers and that, you know, at the end of the day, they'd tell you which one got more or whatever. And I'll never forget, I had a streak. I was getting them all right. And it was like for like a week and a half. And then one came up and it was, it was, uh, do most people... Or, or not, not most people. Do you brush your teeth before or after you eat breakfast? And it was like, like when do more people brush your teeth before mm -hmm. or after breakfast? And I was like, before breakfast. The yeah, fuck? me too. I was like, what kind of question is that? I thought it was the yeah. easiest answer in the world. I thought that was a like guaranteed correct, and my streak would continue. That easy ass question that I thought was easy at least, I got wrong, and it ended my streak. And this is why I'll never forget it because I was so happy about my streak. Because some of the questions were like, oh, fuck, I, I can't, can't believe I got that one right. <laughs> most of the world, apparently, or the most we, we owners, apparently brush their teeth after eating breakfast. I hope and that they were children. No. And, and he, but here's the thing, though. It actually, makes, it actually makes complete sense if you brush your teeth regularly twice a day, at, at, yeah. in the morning and at night. Because mm -hmm. what, and it made me start thinking about it. So you brush your teeth before you eat, and then you go eat, and now you have a bunch of food in your mouth. Okay. So how is that better than eating and then brushing your teeth afterwards and having a clean mouth and not having food in between your teeth or anything like that? I mean, but you're still going to eat throughout the day, so what difference does it make? That's what gum is for. Well, it does so make like, a difference because lunch, lunch is until hours later. So like you would yeah, go those hours also, with a clean mouth. But also, you could still floss. Like I think what you're supposed to, I mean, who's wrong in this situation? No, yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I don't think anyone's wrong. I don't think anyone's wrong. But I, yeah, I but saw the concept. I understood the concept. Yeah, you could always floss. But I understood the yeah. concept of like, all right. And then I was like, yo, that actually makes, I don't know. I started thinking, I was like, yo, it actually makes complete sense why people would do that. Yeah. Um, but only if you brush your teeth at night. 
Like, if you don't brush your teeth at night, brush your teeth when you wake up, bro. Like, please go brush your teeth. For your sake. And especially, you brush if, your teeth at night too. especially if you're somebody who like wakes up and maybe goes like straight to the kitchen to eat breakfast and then you who go brush that? your teeth. I don't know, but apparently a large part of the world, Alyssa, a large part of the world does that. It's so Wait, insane am I wrong to me. For brushing my teeth again after breakfast? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I just, I think maybe it makes sense if you like if you go. First of all, you gotta watch out because you don't want to erode. You don't want to erode your your teeth either. Yeah, um, but everybody. I mean, I would hope everybody wakes up and the first thing that they do in the morning is probably use the bathroom because <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. So while you're using the bathroom, brush your teeth. I don't see no, what no, the no. It, your breath definitely is kicking unless you brush your teeth the night before and it, you just got a little bit of baby morning breath and you you're pleasant with the morning breath. But like, then that's on you. I don't think it's so much about the morning breath as much as it is about having a clean mouth after eating breakfast, which I completely wholeheartedly understand. You if you're what, not somebody who flosses like after each meal and stuff, I know a lot of people or, do that. Or, yeah. yeah, I don't eat breakfast like that anyway. So like to me, it's just it doesn't make a difference. I'm about to Google brush your teeth before or after. Y'all got me stressed thinking of people <laughs> that don't brush their teeth at night. I just don't want to smell, <laughs> bounce that ass breath. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people definitely don't brush their teeth at night, and that's where it bothers me the most. Okay. Because before breakfast is the best time to brush your teeth in the morning. Yeah, because you're gonna go. Yeah. It doesn't make most, a of world, most of the world, most of the world was fucking me up, man. I really thought that was an easy question. Based, that's what I'm saying. It must have been kids because yeah. kids would be the first one to walk to the damn kitchen. I don't. That's the last thing on my mind when I wake wake up in the morning. I'm like, first of all, I gotta brush my teeth and take a shower. I feel like I smell like yesterday. Yeah, that shit is funny. That, that shit is so funny. I, I just, that memory always sticks with me because I'm just like, what? I don't You're know. You're like, why? Yeah, I get it, but what? Yeah, anyways. Anyways, that was my that was my weird we memory. Uh, Fair. And I, oh, by the way, after that, I stopped doing those. I never participated in any more votes. I was like, I was like, I might, like, you said I was like, what? what's, what's real? What's real anymore? Right. You know, um, I had you questioning everything. Also, yeah, you are a psychopath. If you like the taste of orange juice after brushing your teeth, that shit is just. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that's things that just little, don't don't hit after brushing your teeth. That's right a now. that's a, a little sus. A lot of sus. Um, yeah, that game that did traumatize him. But yes, guys, I have a Deku, um, and I hate I hate Deku, but after the latest chapter of My Hero Academia. And, so and, now, and now I'm like, and now I'm like, all right, now I gotta go read the chapter. When I saw you say that, I was like, oh god, now I gotta go read, catch up to my hero because I'm like Alyssa of all people. I'm not saying I'm bought just a saying. Deku figure because look, that's a commitment. That's a I fuck with this, you know, fuck with this character. And he looks pretty like the figure. He looks really cool. Really cool. Like, I like that. I looked it up first before I bought it. Like um, that. Yeah, it definitely traumatized me, Joel. Definitely did. Um, damn. Yeah. The. The fake gamer peeps aren't online yet, What's and I really and I really wanted to raid them. Crazy, um, and we did it to the time that you said you wanted us to do it too. Yeah, we ended up talking. We ended up going long. Mm -hmm. I think it's always a long episode. Yeah, you know, we're, we're an hour. Episode. We're an hour and fifty three minutes in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're at the like the after show part. So. Yeah, we are in the after show part too. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Let me. Um, lingering thoughts. Yo, my hero season five starts tomorrow friends jujitsu kaisen ends today friends go show your support to the anime world as i always do fuck the promise neverland you heard me fuck that shit y'all i really enjoyed hearing y'all chat about games how often does this happen weekly 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 we, we, were, really we were joking about that like earlier <laughs> about how we uh about how we we supposed to record on thursdays yeah, but we haven't been recording on Thursdays for a little bit, um, because of Wanda. Just yeah, wa yeah, because the end of the end of Wanda uh, Wanda Vision season was coming. We decided like, all right, we want to talk about Wanda Vision, so it definitely has to happen after Friday, and yeah. so we start doing them on Saturday just to give people like twenty four hours to watch it and not get spoiled yeah. by by listening into the episode, and 
we kind of have not, we just have not found our way back to Thursday since then. Yeah, but I also <laughs> think it's also just been easier, in my opinion, for people to like watch and listen because mm-hmm. maybe like when we do it on Thursdays, it's it's usually after Ivan streams. Mm-hmm. And depending on where you live in the world, it's early for me, but it's not early for you guys, yeah. and it's not early for everyone else. So it seems that you know. I think that's why Saturdays were were cool, like well, because yeah. the Saturdays we were streaming around like six, between six and seven, yeah. like around there when we were starting. Are kind of like 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 this homage. episode, we started at six thirty. Yeah, people yeah. are just chilling, hanging out. I just got home, but glad. Or a little that. after six. For oh, that anime, yeah, y'all yeah, are y'all Brandon, are, upset y'all are upset about that. Y'all are upset about that. I would be upset yeah, too. Like, how do you just, how do you just, you know, like up in, you know? They rushed everything. That sucks. They even they even There's rushed no it. They rushed it and f- said fuck yeah. all, fuck all this story, fuck some of these characters. That's all fuck. the characters. Uh, yeah. They they you know it hurt the most. They said fuck the the black girl that literally is that bitch. Is that bitch? Yeah. I, I saw you I yeah. saw you post that they too. They butchered it. Yeah, they there was no story. Yeah. And they gave yep, they legit gave up on it and it's the saddest thing I've ever seen cuz it's one of the best one of the best stories I've ever read. Yeah. You know, and it's just a fun adventure. The same a lot. The same a lot. Yeah. I mean, we got Brandon in here. When do we when do we want to do this anime episode? Yeah, when do I got I got to watch I got to watch a little Jujutsu Kaisen, not a little. I got to like I, have to catch I got like too. probably like 6 7 weeks of worth of Jujutsu to, Kaisen to watch. The Promised Neverland? Yeah, The Promised um, Neverland. Next week? But I think week? I think I think by I mean I don't have a job anymore, so I could definitely I got time. I got time now, so Wait. I could definitely watch by next week, I think. Yeah, Promised uh, Neverland, uh Joel, that's a So we're going to hold off on Falcon next week then. Oh, Damn. No, Maybe I... the week after manga show is what y'all saying. The manga's fire. If you read the manga, yeah. but if you, if if you, they skip everything in the anime. Yeah. Literally skip everything. Yeah. Unfortunately. That's kind of. But yeah, if you guys want to do it before um, Brandon leaves. Uh, um, the week after. Wait, Brandon leaves. Mhm. You talking about? <laughs> uh, you know something uh, I don't know. I guess. Yeah, before he goes on vacay, he got I got two, two weeks. weeks. Okay, so, so wait, maybe, could could you do the week after that? Because we were talking about uh, doing Falcon and Winter Soldier next week. I mean, you could join us for that one too. I mean, yeah, you could. You you, 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 you on opinion. your Marvel tips? So yeah, like he just lost. He just yeah, lost. Yeah, we kick it with Brandon. Yeah, I left the fourteenth. He leaves the fourteenth. He yeah. left the fourteenth. Left the fourteenth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We gotta talk about that later. I have no idea what's going on. But he's going. He's coming over here. Oh, yo, that's that's two weeks from now. Yeah. Oh wow, didn't know that. Didn't know that. Yeah. Wow, y'all gonna hang out? Y'all gonna hang out? Yeah, I think me, him, Ange, and Mabel are gonna try Link. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Mabel and I found out we live so super close. close. Yeah, I saw y'all talking about that in the chat. I thought she lived in downtown LA or something. That was crazy. Wow, y'all about to have a good time. That's what's up. That's oh my gosh, up, though. Jujutsu Kaisen is so good. Yeah. Um, manga is panel for panel if you're in, if you like mangas, and I suggest you just you feel like season one there's a lot of shit happening, but y'all haven't gotten to the Shibuya arc, <laughs> and that's the shit that really hurts. And weather knows because we talk about it all the time. But oh my god, there's a new chapter tomorrow. Ooh. No, there's a new chapter on Sunday. I'm sorry, I thought today was Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, Shibuya arc is great. Yeah, Jujutsu uh, Kaisen's up there. Um for sure. I think Attack on Titan is taking its break after this week's episode. But um, the manga finishes next week or the week after? Manga finishes next month. I guess I guess it comes out next week. Probably next week is April. I don't know when exactly the manga mm-hmm. drops during the month. Uh I think it's in yeah. But it's gonna take a break after this week and then we'll see what happens. I mean we we watch it. Uh, we've been watching them on Clubhouse now and chatting on Clubhouse. Yeah. So if you ever want to just come in and, and hang out with us on Say Clubhouse, yeah. uh, we do our watch parties on Clubhouse and we watch the episode. And yeah, we just talk. We bullshit talk about it. You know, uh, a lot of shit going on. Um, yeah. But we were talking about how the second half. My little brother was telling me that there's a rumor that the second half of the season, like it won't be a like a second half of the season. It's going to be a movie to end the show. Oh, that'll be good. So like to end the whole thing. Um, which I don't know what happens, so I can't even give a judgment oh, yeah, on whether or not that's a good idea or not. But Brandon's up to up to date on the manga, and he he's not particularly upset about that. He's like he was like actually that might that might be really good. That might be awesome actually. 
Yeah, I mean, we've seen it though with like um, my hair. Well, I don't know if you've watched any of the my hero movies, but even Demon Slayer has a movie coming out next month, which is really dope. So it's like sometimes some stories do need to be told in that format. I think the Jujutsu Kaisen movie they just announced um, is for the. It's not a prequel, but it tells a story of a character that like you don't meet right away. Like mm-hmm. you meet him in recent chapters. Um, but it's a student that they speak about that they show you, but they never talk to him. So yeah, the Jujutsu Kaisen movie is official. It's for the prequel book, like Jujutsu Zero, whatever it is. And it's gonna be about that, which I think is That's beneficial. Cool. Yeah. And then it realistically will come out before season two maybe probably yeah um, it's good to do that as like a movie oh, too. Util- yeah like that. it's basically you to lore basically yeah it's that whole thing but people if you don't know who he is it's because they don't really show him but like a few <laughs> a few times but yeah, yeah we got the anime stuff happening so maybe in two weeks we'll give you guys an anime episode. Right, so so next week so next week we thinking you know what i'm gonna watch too I don't know if you wait, Brandon. Did you already watch uh, Justice League? I'm gonna watch Justice League before next I week's episode. That shit either, so, so I don't know, know if you want to watch it. That's that's up to you. you know, that's a commitment. They got right it in there. black and white now. But we could talk about we could talk about Falcon Winter Soldier, Justice League, and just you know that universe all together. Plus whatever gaming yeah. news happens next week, that could be next week's episode. Yeah. And then I like anime episode for the next week after that. I like that. Yeah, that sounds that's not, good to me too. I'm not impartial to that. Because then also, we'll be two weeks into My Hero too, into the new season of My yeah. Hero. And that's That could be a little cool conversation because there's still a lot that happens. If I remember the the manga correctly, like there's still a lot that happens right after that that cliffhanger they left us on. Um, What's it's gonna, it? Uh, shoot. Um, I don't know where you stopped. No, no, no. no not, not manga-wise. I'm talking about uh, end of season three. With, oh yeah, with uh, Endeavor. Yeah, with Endeavor fighting the uh, the the Nomu, um, like yeah, that yeah, that yeah. doesn't actually end right there with the season no. three. Like, there's still a lot this, that happens before it like calms down, like the calm down yeah. arc with the school and shit like that. So the first two Oof. three episodes of My Hero might actually be super action packed. Um, really I looking can't wait to for that. you to read the manga. Fuck that school shit. Yeah, fuck that school shit. Fuck yeah. that school shit. We finally said. Chill, 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 chill. You're saying too much, doing too much. I'm like, I'm like maybe four I'm chapters saying. behind now. I think. Um, All right. We'll see. We'll see. I can't wait to watch the um, Todoroki novella play out in full picture. I had two meals it's my favorite. during it. Damn. It's my favorite. Um, yeah, the Justice League movie is like four yeah. and a, like four and a half hours yeah. long. I'm gonna watch it in chunks um, too, like maybe hour and a half chunks, two hours or something like that, if I can get. Yeah, if I have the attention. Speed. Depends yeah. the pace of the movie, really. That that I think that's what's gonna dictate how many just parts. I there's a lot of slow mo. Because like a lot of slow mo. Because they yeah a lot of slow motion yeah. I, who said that? Who said that? They're like yo, just just make it slow motion. It's gotta have a lot of slow motion. I think Brandon said that. They also just announced, we could talk about this too, the Birds of, not Birds of Prey, what the fuck, Alyssa? Suicide Squad 2 movie is coming out in August, so we could talk about that next week too. Pete Davidson is in it, so I have my opinions on that, but I just talk shit the whole movie. They separate it in chapter chapters? What is this, a manga? Also, Nat, thank you for stopping by. Um, enjoy Detroit Become Human. Yeah. If it's in slow mo, I don't want it anymore. Everything's yeah, it's slow-mo. everything slow mo, yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> All right, oh, so gosh. we gotta we do gotta cap this off in like five minutes because I gotta yeah, I got sure. I gotta go and then we're gonna raid we're gonna raid the homies who are having are the trivia live? night yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're live now um, yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. right after I said that they went live like two minutes later so okay cool cool um, we just been talking shit per usual yeah per usual I thought we were still waiting for them so I was like oh no, no 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 we just got caught up we just got caught up um, but yeah um, any last thoughts any anything else you wanna say. No, I said all I need to say. Fuck the promise, Neverland. All right, that's that's a good that's a good uh, anime. It's <laughs> a good that's a good closing thought right there. Good manga, you mean? But yeah, yeah, good closing Great thought. Yeah. Uh, you anything? Yeah. I don't have no closing thoughts. Um, y'all nice. have a great weekend. I mean, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I do have closing thoughts. Uh, shameless plug in the chat right now. Mm-hmm. If y'all didn't already know, now you you're about to know. We're raising money for Girls Who Code, a nonprofit focused on developing the skills and the confidence in young girls to pursue careers and their dreams to work in tech, uh, which is awesome. And we have so far raised 1,500 beans for the girls. Let's t- tell you about it. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, 
and it's exciting. That's super exciting. Um, we just cracked 1500 today. Got, got some extra donations today. And uh, we're pushing heavy tomorrow because tomorrow is our Women's History uh, Month event. All day. All day. All day. We're celebrating women. I'm literally the only guy who's going to be present during the show. Uh, and you might see a sneak peek so the other fellas doing the back work, but that's it. We're just we're just the roaches in the back. We're not we're not the spotlight. Like even myself, like I'm commentating with Jess. Jess is the star of the show. Like she's the two, two time. Times. She's the two time, you know, two she's two times. two time. Uh she's she's the expert. She's the one, yeah. you know, she she's got it. Uh I'm not a roach. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> what did all right. he say? <laughs> just, whatever. Anyways, uh, we're just going to be in the back working. We're just going to be making making the magic happen. But the ladies are the magic. And they're going to be showcasing their talents. We're going to have women playing games, women DJing. We're going to have Alyssa hosting a special episode of Safe Point. Without me, it'll be the first episode where it's just one of us. And no, of course, it'll be the second one, but yeah. Second one? Yeah, you did it with Maple and in december get him off the mic <laughs> yeah all right oh yeah you <laughs> we're weren't done. there that's right <laughs> we're done oh my he's, goodness he's he needs he needs to go get some food in his system sleep. no i completely forgot that i did that one i'm so disappointed i thought this was the first one dolo i completely forgot about right, that one like, get him some milk. anyways uh so Alyssa is gonna be hosting a safe point episode uh and yeah games music all day <laughs> women all day uh, i actually don't like milk so give me something yeah. else not that I don't like milk. I, like I don't like milk. Welcome. Yeah, I, I started drinking oat milk. Yep. I love yeah. oat milk. Yeah. Um, I won't drink it by itself, but I love it with my cereal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's the only thing I use milk for, actually. I don't use it for anything yeah. else. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, I hope to see you there tomorrow. Starts at 11 a.m., ends at 11 p.m. So at any, point, if, at any point throughout the day, if you're free, pop in, say what's up. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you'll want to stick around. Who knows? Uh, but if you'd like, you can go to our socials and we've got our run a show on our Instagram and on our Twitter. And if you want to see what times people are performing or playing games, uh, so maybe you want to tune in during a certain hour. Uh, yeah, we're going to be there. And for audio listeners, as, as per usual, our socials uh, are in the description. Um, you can find out more on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and you can watch this episode later on YouTube if you want to watch it. Uh, or VOD here on Twitch, you know, or you could join us live whenever the hell we decide to do them live because you already know. We're a mess. You're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're about to raid the, the homies, the fake gamers. Yes. Um, they're having, Thank you for hanging out. They're having a, a gaming night tonight, a game show night tonight, hosted by Afro Monono, uh, who is their newest member. And uh, the rest of the crew, they play basically playing video game Jeopardy. I really like that. I like, I like the, yeah. I just like that. I like that. I think it's cool. Yeah. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, Afro made up all the questions on his own, which is That's really, cool. really cool. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go show them some love. We're gonna show them some love. And y'all, um. Damn, that's that on that. I really, I can't wait. I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow. It's gonna be an, an incredible day. Yeah. Um, and we hope we can raise more money for the girls. The The end of the month is on Wednesday, so we've got just under a week to try to push this as far as we can. Um, yeah, that's about it. And then that's it. Deuces on that. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all coming out. Two, two time. <laughs> I cannot wait till Jess is here because she's going to be so fucking annoyed. I'm not calling her Jess tomorrow. I'll be like, two time. What do you think about that? What do you think about that play? She's going to be so pissed. I can't wait. Two time. Two time. And on that, deuces. See y'all later. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jess is going to be so annoyed tomorrow. Yeah, she is so, so fucking funny. I cannot wait. <laughs>